Hello, hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. It is 4.30 here in the States. Where I'm at, it is hot. And this is a live stream with a live audience. If you're watching the recording, you're going to want to fast forward about 10-15 minutes. A good time for all my friends to get in. We chit chat a little bit. And then we get started with the project. And let's see, I have Pookie in the house. Hello, my love. How are you? If you're up in the clouds. Oh, do I have it? Did I take off the... Oh, yeah, I did. No, I took off... I wanted to make sure I got the volume on. Can you hear me, hon? Love to... Oh, there's my Jude, my sissy poo. Love to you both. Hi, honeys. <laughs> Can y'all hear me and see me okay? I really need to go through my napkins. Clear and loud. Okay, I'll calm down. <laughs> Pookie is putting on the <laughs> Hi, Belinda. <laughs> uh, Pookie. Oh, we should have put this one on the page, too. Page came out great, but we should put it on the page. Pookie was cracking the whip. She said, she said, chill out. You are too loud. Hi, Victoria. So, Victoria, did you, um, your page the other day, your, um, your doodle page, did you, um, did you do that after my video the other day? Is that, is that what, what inspired you? Hi, Giggs. Oh, okay. Well, that is wonderful. I'm happy that I could inspire that uh, that beautiful, wonderful, sweet page. It was so cute. If y'all didn't see it because she didn't tag me, um, Victoria did a wonderful uh, uh, a word page. Uh, after my word page, my watercolor word page, uh, she was inspired by uh, watching my video, um, and she forgot to tag me. So if uh, if uh, you guys want to see it, you'll have to look her up on Facebook because she did a wonderful job. Um, yeah, make sure that when you are uh, following somebody's video, uh, well. You know, not make sure, but it's it's always nice to tag the person that you're inspired by, their work, especially you know just because it's it's nice, it's uh, it's etiquette, it's art etiquette, <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, if you guys want to see it, which she's the only one that's uh, that I've seen so far that um, has done anything after my videos. Um, I'd love to see the rest of your guys' work. Um, so if you are following my videos, I always say that if you're following my videos, if you're following along the, the watercolor uh, videos that we're doing, the watercolor and doodles, I'd love to see what you guys are doing. So make sure you guys are tagging me. I only happen to catch her because, and I don't normally go down my, 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 uh, my personal Facebook page, but I happened to have been scrolling. It was simple. It was strictly by chance. It was totally by accident. I would not have caught hers either. 
Um, so make sure that um, you guys are posting it on my Art Facebook page that you tag, you either tag uh, Art or, or tag me personally. So it'll give me a little ding. Um, and I'll know. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to see it. And I love to see what you guys are doing. It's so awesome to be able to say, hey, that's that's pretty, that's awesome, that's cool, that's cute, whatever. Because you guys need to get feedback, right? You want to know that I'm liking what you guys are doing, and I can't do that if I don't see it. No, 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 I don't, no, I just, I, no, no, no. I, <laughs> you don't have to. I just, I, I, I know if I did some, when I've done things after people, I've tagged them because I want to, I want to see what their feedback is. You know, I want to see what they say. And you can not tag me if you want, but you, I won't never see it. I only saw it by accident. <laughs> it's just, it's just a, it's just a, a word to the wise. You know, you don't have to, but if you want me to see it. You got it. You got to tag me. And uh, on, on Facebook, uh, you do the little at sign. And if you're on Instagram, you do the little hashtag, I think. Um, yeah. Um, but uh, otherwise, if you don't tag the person you're following, they're never going to see it. And we're never going to be able to say that that is freaking fantastic. And yeah, I want to know. Inquiring minds want to see what you're doing. You want to see the lovely work that you're making. Oh, maybe that one. Maybe that one. I don't really want anything flowers, so actually let me take that one out. I don't really want flowers, actually. That one's really not flowers. That's more pots. That one's more wood, so that's okay. Okay. I don't want flowers. I'm trying not to get flowers. What's your feedback, gigs? Oh God! I was watching. I was watching your video, and uh, as I was ending work, I'm like, crap! I gotta start my stream. Uh, I got I didn't wasn't able to log off of work until. Uh, uh, almost 10 after 4 and I'm like scrambling to get uh, my stream together I'm like oh my god do you have um, do you have Pettibon today gigs I want no flowers we're not, we're not looking for no flowers we are not we are not no flowers today we're not doing no flowers none I mean, I mean, we could do things like that or whatever, but no flowers. I already got one of those in there. We got that in there. But we might end up using two. Who knows? Oh, penguins. No. <laughs> Yay, she gets to stay. Woohoo. Let's see, like stuff like that. Can, yeah, we want to use that. Who knows? We got two of those. Maybe that'll get used. You all get to help me help me today. We are going to make some background, some abstract stuff because I don't know what I'm doing. Well, not that I don't know what I'm doing, but you know, you know, I don't know. Maybe one of those will get used. I really need to go through my my napkins no that's not really flowers so we can include that one no flowers and that hope debbie will get here uh, she can she's we need debbie she's good she's good at the abstract stuff mm, that I, i'm saving that for dar sent me these these quirky ones and i want to save these game ones for a special i got some I, of that, maybe some of that, some of that. <laughs> yeah, but we're not we're not making any page today. We are simply creating some fun, um, abstracty type uh, ish. Uh, not necessarily abstract, but we're making some backgrounds. We're 
We're having some fun. We're going to use my papers. We're going to use napkins. We are just going to, we're going to make as many as we can. If we want to make some new papers and get out some stencils, we can do that. Uh, make some, some coordinate, some backgrounds that, you know, go together. Okay. That's what we're going to do today. If y'all didn't read the title when you came in the room, and those up in the clouds, don't forget, you can, don't don't be shy. You can come down and join us. We're gonna just have fun today. Yep. No flowers. No no flowers. No man, unless it's, maybe this. This is not really flowers. This is more of a. Um, abs uh, you know, it's just weird. It's just a weird napkin. But, um, I already pulled one of those. Get extras if we need it. Oh, that, that's, that's concrete. Can put that. I want to put stuff that doesn't, you know, a little splash of color on a page. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Some black and white's good. I know that. I do want to have some black and white. I know we're probably going to have to make some pap papers because I don't have a lot of black and white. So, and I have it's a lot of good stencils to make some black and white. Oh, that's a good one. Some, a bandana napkin. Yep. Yep. Should we put candies in there? I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of like a specific one. Oh. Maybe, oh, that's a good napkin. See, herringbone. Hi, Tori Love. How are you? I hope you're doing okay. I know it's late for you. Hi, Sherry. Hi, all those coming in. Love to all those lurkers up in the clouds. And uh, hello, hello to all those um, that'll be watching the recording later. I appreciate everyone coming in. Whether you can stay one minute, five minutes, five, you know, a couple hours, it's all good. Yeah, this one gives, I, I like this napkin. Yeah. How's your, how, how's you and the family doing? Say hi to Dawn for me. Vicky, see? Watercolors is your friend. Watercolors is your friend. Well, they, they can be your friend. You're going to make them your friend. Okay, no, the flowers, flowers, that's a no. We'll definitely pull out one of those. Um, well, actually, probably some of those are going to go back in there, so actually, I'll yeah, that's, that's a, these are no, no, no. I do need to go through my napkins and put together a pack or two packs because I know I have several dupes and get rid of the dupes. Plus, I bought some packs, so I know I have multiple dupes. <laughs> yeah, these are some pretty, 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 pretty napkins. Oh, and I just, like, I was just at an auction, like, last week, a couple days ago, and I bought a whole bunch of napkins, so I got a whole, whole bunch more coming. <laughs> Not duplicates, you know. Well, you know. But I got a whole bunch more coming, so I really do need to go through my giraffe. We gotta we gotta do a giraffe page soon, um, yeah. So I do need to go through my napkins and prepare a couple packs for sale and put them in my Etsy shop. This is long napkin. Oh, I haven't worked with this napkin yet. This one actually can go with it because it's a full pack. Don't need those. This is. Odds and ends, but this can go in here. These are all little ones. So little, little ones. Okay. 
I know, I know. I, oh, I hope, I hope it subsides. Any, any word from the doctor? What do they say? Are they, what are they, you know, working with? You know, I mean, what's going on, man? What are they saying? What's the news? What's the word on the street? I knew I had some of those napkins. I do have a little bit of black and white, huh? That's nice. That's a nice napkin. I don't know if I want one. Well, yeah, what the hey? Oh, I do have another one. Oh, goody. Oh, goody, goody. Goody, goody. Don't want to waste that one. Let that one can go in there. Why won't you go? Oh, because of COVID? Yeah, our, our Dar is back, my Pookie. I'm so glad she's back. I missed her bunches and oodles. Even though I talked to her all the time, I still missed her bunches and bunches. These need to go in the, the small batch. Small. Small guy. Everyone coming in. Oh gosh, yeah. They need to give you a secure room, you know, like a secure uh, place to go to, um, so you don't have to, you know, worry about it before you'll go in. I, I trust me. I, I get it. I get it, honey, for sure. I totally get it. That sucks. Oh my God. Too many of those. Should I pull out one of those? I don't think I pulled out one of those. So we'll put that in there. Flowers. These are all small ones. A little more black and white. Oh, I need to do that page, too. So much. Oh, this might be, well, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, polka dots. Polka dots might be, I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> I do have another Buddha. Oh, goody. I have more than one more. Oh, good. I thought I might have. Oh, Deborah will be so happy. I have three more Buddhas. I can do more Buddha work. Oh, people are tagging me. All kinds of crazy. Okay. Get out of that. All right. I got to remember. If I see Deborah, I can tell her. Well, we might use some of that. These are the white ones. Let's see. Anything that I can 
use backgroundish type stuff. It's not flowers. It's a good one. It's black and white. <sighs> That's a bone bone. Use that one for this project. See, I have some, but I have just so many duplicates. Marta! Hi, love! How are you? Marta is getting ready to release. When's the when's the date, Marta? When are we? Uh, when are you going to be releasing the next uh, the next uh, paper pack or product? Have you decided on a date yet? Or do you know a date yet? I, uh, I've seen uh, I've seen I've seen pics. It is beautiful and wonderful, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. <laughs> no date, but anytime. Uh, yeah, I know it was at the printers, but so yeah. So keep your eyes peeled, guys. I will announce as soon as I get the date. I will announce that it is it is coming out, and uh, be prepared to get those little fingers working. When it's ready, I don't know um, what um, all yet, but I'll let you guys know. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes. Um, and then I will. Um, and then I've almost got yours just about ready. My uh, special package. I got to get a couple things, and then I'll be sending yours back to you. <laughs> Been working on it. I uh, I just I had to do my my giveaway, and June was crazy. And all right, so this is what we're working with. I hope Debbie hurry up so it gets here. Cause she's you know she's the the queen of backgrounds that I know of. So we are going to be doing, that's ugly. Go look at that. That's some more practice stuff that we're not going to pay attention to today. Um, I'm just going to pull out a couple pages for now. Do I want to leave them in here? Hmm. No, I want to work on them one by one. I don't want to leave them in the book in case I get them, get them ucky. And I'm just using the... Um, the 11 by 14 Arteza uh, mixed media paper for the backgrounds that we're going to be working on today. We're just going to have some fun. We'll make some papers. Oh, and I brought out my big, uh, we got to use some of this too. We're going to be combining, so all my, all my different papers, a lot of my different papers in here with napkins to make backgrounds. That's what we're going to be doing today. They are um, um, for something secret. I can't tell you, but uh, I need to make backgrounds. So I'll pull out a few for now. I don't know. If we'll get. We might get going on a roll. Get through these really quick. Um, hi Deb. How are you? The 
desk cover. So, okay, so I've had it now for, oh, I don't know why. I didn't wash it today. Um, let's see. So it, I got both pieces at Amazon, and my desk is approximately, what is it, 30, 35, or almost 40 width by, well, let's just, let's just see. Where's my tape measure? I'll just tell you. I got them both on Amazon, and I'll, I'll tell you which ones I got, but where's my tape measure? So my desk is from Ikea, and it's, so yeah, it's, it's 29 by 58, okay, so my desk is 29 by 58, and I bought one roll of the contact paper and one roll of the plastic covering. And I love it. It's wonderful. It takes beautiful pictures. It's wonderful to work on. The only thing is, is it doesn't like um, the strong glues. Uh, it, you can clean off gesso and paints and um, I wouldn't say alcohol inks, only because I don't know. I don't have them in my studio, so I couldn't test those. Everything cleans off of it except for like matte medium or um, gel medium. Okay. Those you would have to, you really have to scrub that to get them off. So that's why I'll bring down my, uh, my, uh, my, you know, my craft vat when I want to do something very gluey and I'm using uh, those glues. Other than that, everything else washes off. Hi, Hila Love. So let me get you, let me pull up what the, the two items I bought. Okay. They weren't very expensive. So this is the item that I bought. Uh, Abyssly wood wallpaper. So it's like contact paper or wallpaper. And this is only, it's like seven bucks. And so it's 17 by 118 inches. And it covered the full desk. And oh, let me get my controls up. That would help so you guys can see what the heck we're talking about here. Yeah, I love it too. Everybody comments on it, um, uh, both in video and in pictures. So um, it was a, a Jan also um, purchased it too, and I think one other person too. So yeah, so there you go. So 17 by 18 inches, 6.99, and this is what it's called. A B Y S S A L Y Abyssaly wood wallpaper self adhesive. Okay, and then the plastic covering. This is where this is the more expensive item of the two, um, but I think it was only like 30 something dollars or whatever. Um, let me find it. <laughs> One second, it should be right around the same time. I, oh, here it is. So what? It's kind of it's the same thing that your parents would have put on their expensive, or your grandmother would put on her expensive dining room table. So it's by Big Hala, wood furniture table protector, clear plastic, um, and it comes in a roll. And then it comes with these. I don't know if you can even see them, but down here it comes with these these clear Glue dots, uh, they're not glue dots, uh, sticky dots. Like They're like uh, sticky back glue dots, double-sided glue dots. Um, and this was, uh, oh, see, $32.49. But you can, I guess you can get different colors, too. I got the clear, but, and you can get different sizes, so you can pick the size depending on the size desk that you want. You can select the different sizes based on the size of your desk. Uh, like I said, it, it comes with the with the glue dots or sticky back dots. 
don't know if you can't see it, but it, it comes with like, um, I can find them. Uh, it comes with extra. You get like 20 of these little tiny sticky back uh, sticker dots. And so you put those down. And I put I put one like every foot. So like here's one, and here's one. And then the same spot, you know, so I put three across and then I put them like a foot apart or 12 inches apart. And then I so and then I put like, I don't know, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, five down. Now it didn't quite cover my full desk, and that was okay because I didn't, I didn't need it to go down my full desk. I should have gotten a plastic piece that was longer, but you can get them longer. Um, so, and you get so many dots for the size length of the plastic that you buy, right? So, and then you know, but it comes in a roll. And then the contact paper comes in a roll. And it's easy just to put the contact paper down or the wallpaper down. And then smooth it down with your brayer across the table as you lay it down. It was really simple. <laughs> Judy. Yeah, well, I have to. I don't have much space here, so. And I'm, I'm a little OCD about keeping my area clean. You know? Hey. Um, the Jeb, Debbie, uh, no. And we're 30 minutes in, and I've got my papers ready. So we're just going to get started, okay? Debbie's not here, so whatever. We'll start without her. Um, yeah. So, um... And I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to pull up my matte medium, my clear gesso, I don't know what I'm going to use. We're just going to glue down papers for right now. Um, if we have to make some papers to kind of go with what, you know, I want to do, that's fine. Okay, so, I want to make, I want to, I don't want to make all the colors, like, I don't... How do I want to describe this? I want to make some kind of abstractish backgrounds, but I don't want to get too funky and out, out, like, go out on, you know, left field with it, right? <laughs> Welcome back, Jude. So, you know, like, I don't want to make it too busy. Let's put it that way, okay? I want it to be abstract. But I don't want it to be too busy to where it's going to make the eye, like, bug out if anybody looks at it. I mean, it's going to have something eventually put on it. But, you know, the background has to look nice, right? Because you're going to eventually art on it. You know, it's going to have a focal point. So, oh my God, it's freaking hot in here. Oh. Sorry, I've got to turn my fan on full blast because I am dying and hot flashes are not nice. I'm just saying. Um, so, I didn't get time to prep any of my papers. Um, so, I just pulled out all my napkins. I know, like, I want to incorporate, you know, my papers and I want to incorporate, you know, some some patterns, some pattern napkins with them, and, you know, maybe some tissue papers, you know, and text. You guys know how, I'm about, how I am about text? Your text paper, right? Um, I don't, and I don't want it to, like, all over the place in terms of, Like, I'm not, uh, uh, how do I want to say? Um, then I'm not going to do this whole piece of paper. Maybe I should, how should I put it? Um, this paper is bigger than what I need. Let's put it that way. Because the, the papers are going to be, the size that I want is going to be, 
Um. Ah! Not craft a lamp, but something else. So, what's the size that I want? Hold on. So, like, eight and a half by 11, you know? So, normal paper size. So, this is not obviously bigger than what I want. And I'm using this paper because it's, it'll be easier. But I don't need all this paper. So, but it's the best paper I have to work on. Because it's thin and it's mixed media paper and it's easy to glue on. And I like the paper as far as that goes. Um... Oh, not these papers. These are my, well, I might incorporate some of these. I don't know. Yeah, actually, I might. I like some of these pieces a lot. So, actually, yeah, never mind. So, what was I going to say? I don't want to incorporate a lot of crazy, uh, different, like, crooked pieces this way and that way and this way and that way and a whole bunch of you know I want to do like a cl nice collage background because then what I'm going to do is for the project that I'm working on um, I'm going to come in with uh, probably a little bit of gesso or, or whatever and so then I can paint my my um Oh, yeah, it is expensive. Um, so I can paint my focal image or whatever um, wherever I want it on the page. Um, you know what I mean? So. I like this this at least these papers that I made I made recently. I definitely like a lot of these. They got the texture. We got Marta's stencil in there. Uh, the, the, yeah. That's not real apparent, but oh look at that. Yum yum. That's one of um Finnebar stencils. But just the color and look at how it's okay. So that stuff can go over there. And some stuff in here I'm not gonna use. Like I like that piece. I like that piece. That's too much. That is too much probably for what I want. That's definitely too much. Whew. That piece might be okay. We'll put that in that pile. much hmm. now hmm, that's not I can't use that got the right age I gotta watch what I use because um, it has to be uh, uh, copyright free. That's just too much. No, no, that's not usable. Those are 
Wait, I don't know. Make it bright. Does anybody like this? It's awful bright. You guys are you guys are the voters <laughs> at the moment because <laughs> I sometimes don't know what is nice or I have a very closed mind on some things I guess or I you know you guys are the general public <laughs> you guys are the 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 the, the voting board. <laughs> We don't like this? Okay, good. All right. No voting. Remember. Okay. Maybe you guys will like this one. Do we like this one? This one has green and yellow with lots of goldy. Goldy gold. So wait, but we like this one? This one's just a lot of yellow. It's got some white in there. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe it's awful bright. I don't know. That's it's. These are fluorescent colors now, people. These are fluorescent yellows and greens with with the gold. The gold I like. <laughs> because I don't know. I you know my opinion is crap right now when it comes. Think background because you guys know how I am. I'm I have my. Like I like I love color, but I I'm very like <laughs> I I have blinders on sometimes. So you guys know you guys have you know I don't know what looks good to a lot of people. I'm I'm one person. You guys you guys are gonna help me. You know, we're, yeah. And Marta's with me. She don't like these either. <laughs> the right one. This one. Because it's a little lighter. It's not as bright. All right. Well, maybe maybe bits in this one. Maybe bits of that one. Okay. We're not going to have both. Because I don't even know if we're going to get to it. But we're, right now we're just selecting papers. We're not obviously not going to get to all this today. But we'll get to some of it today. Now I can't use that. That one I'm not going to deal with. Because we like... Do I like this? This one. This one's pretty. Now this one's got some... Some of the little bit of fluorescent in it, but it's got some pretty, pretty color shifty, pinky stuff in there. So this one's kind of pretty. I kind of, I kind of like this one. So we'll pull that one out. This, this one's a mess. It's too much, too much, too much. That one, no. No, I might need some more. So, no, I've got some over here. I do. Let me just pull out this one. This has got some nice neutrals on it. That's just, those are just too crazy. This one I do like that. And this one's pretty. We can make pieces of that. Oh, this is kind of abstract. We'll pull that one out. This one's this one's dark, but it's got some nice uh, shimmer on it. I don't know. This one. This one is it. This one is probably yes. That one's got some nice nice. That's too crazy. Whew. That one's out there. This one's pretty. I pulled it, we'll pull out some of that one. I should do a scrap grab bag and um, maybe. This 
will be a good one. Oh, this is kind of pretty. Got snow, got holes in it. And this has got some pink. This one might be good. Packaging, no, can't use packaging. No can do. This has got some more vintage words on it. We can use that. As long as it's vintage, I can use it. This is one of mine. That one's got some, maybe, I don't know. No, not that one. Oh, no, not that one. Oh. Yeah, uh, no. Uh, maybe, I don't know. More vintage lit words and stuff. Yeah, I definitely need to do a grab bag, I think. And clean out my bin. This is good stuff. Did something fall? Yeah, I need to do, uh, are you only making backgrounds today? Yes, but we're going to make as many as we can, um, because, because we're, we're, yeah, we're making, um, and you guys get to help me make it. You guys get to help make all the decisions. How about that? Um, but yeah, I need to do some, some scrap that, uh, scrap, uh, Grab bags. This is pretty. Uh, yeah, but that the the one the the maps that I you see in there are not vintage enough to be able to use um in the backgrounds because these backgrounds I can't tell you what they're for. They're for a secret project I I've been working on. Um, that one's kind of pretty, huh? Um. That I, yeah, that I've been working on. Mm. I don't know. We'll see. That's a no. Uh, but you guys get, you guys, you guys are the development, the production team. How about that? Because you know I'm not. Um, that's a no, because that's going to bleed. I know it's going to bleed. All this is going to bleed, so we can't use that. Those are just after spray. This is neutral. Got gold on it. That's good. These are all too heavy. No. That's going to bleed. Bleed. No, no, no. Yeah, see, I've got a lot of scraps. I just need to, I need to grab bag them. I just got, this is pretty, I like that. Um, some of this I can't use because it'll bleed, and I don't want no bleeding today. Normally I wouldn't mind, but um, I want to keep the collages clean. Oh, this is a pretty piece, too. Yeah, we'll definitely use that. That's a pretty one, too. That might be useful. That's too much. But look at all these scraps and bits and pieces that... I mean, I do use them, but I just got so many. And I love doing jelly prints and making papers, but I just... I just can't make any more until I either use these or give these away or, you know, something. Just got too much. Just got too much. Oh, I need to pull this out. Um, I need to put that somewhere. might be usable. It's got some black and whitish, bluish stuff on it, but we might be able to use it. Oh, this is dendritic. We might be able, it's, it's uh, flashy, but we might be able to use it. It might fit right in. It's a background after all. What did I miss? Dar. 
Which one did you like, Dar? Which one did, uh, what? Did I miss one that you liked? Yeah, if I, if I pass it up, it was either too busy, it, it wasn't um, vintage, or it was going to bleed. And we don't want no bleeding today. And I've got enough book paper and uh, paper here, I think. I mean, you know, I can't pull out everything I have because, oh, this one's pretty, yeah. the woman of the hour. There she is. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> You're just in time. Good. Okay, we might pull these those. Debbie knows what I'm working on. Um, not the not the project, but she knows she knows what why I'm working on what I'm working on. We could use some of that. Um, she, as you know, is great at backgrounds, putting backgrounds together. So she is going to help guide us in the realm of background collaging. I like this one, so I'm going to pull that one. Yes. Debbie is here. Thank goodness. We are saved. Because if left to my devices, we would just not be, it would not be pretty. I mean, I could do a background for a page, but for this, uh, I'm I'm just not I'm not I'm, you know I'm not versed in this. Oh, and uh, Saturday, um, I got to order them today. I got them in my cart, and I'm gonna press the send button. And maybe Marta will stop in, but I'm gonna review one of Marta's videos because you know I'm not very good at I've never done one of these either. But I'm doing we're gonna do our first 3D collage, uh, 3D canvas collage canvas thing of the jigger on Saturday. Okay? No promises. It that could be when I usually I say it could totally go wrong. This time I really kind of mean it because it could really totally go wrong. I painted on canvases with acrylic and stuff, but I've never done a 3D canvas kind of sort of finna bear style. I'm just saying. So I've got stuff. I just don't know what I'm doing. I've seen Martha do it a bazillion times. Don't know what I'm doing. I mean, so it could totally go way wrong. I'm just saying. I'm just putting that out there. It could totally go way wrong. But we're going to give it a go. We are. We are so going to give it a go. And whatever happens, happens. But, thank goodness I've watched Martha's videos a few times over. And I have junk and stuff to use. And I got, uh, the last thing I was waiting for was the buttons from Debbie, which I just, which we just got the other day. So I got a bag of buttons. I got to go downstairs and raid the toolbox and see if I have any stuff in there that might be useful. And now I might hit the hardware store. Or have, actually, I might raid Dave's, uh, by the hardware store, I mean, like, Dave's, uh, <laughs> Marta, don't spin. You are so great at canvases. Oh, my God. She, if you want to watch a girl that knows how to do canvases, Marta is the one. <laughs> she don't know what she's doing. She is so fitting. Um, and by hardware store, I meant Dave's garage, because he, he won't let me go to, um, or I mean the ghost garage, because he won't let me go to Menards, which is fine. So, and I know he has a lot of junk in his garage and washers and nuts and bolts and things and stuff and that. So, I'll raid his garage for stuff. So, I'll have stuff for Saturday. Um, yeah, so, and then I know he's got wood chippy thingy stuff that I can raid to, so I'll, I'll raid his garage for other stuff. But I, and I've got metals, some metals and stuff in my stash that I've had from before when I was doing clay. And I got the bag of buttons from Debbie. And we're just going to make a go of it. <laughs> Hi, Susan! 
Just pop in for a few. Okay, hon. Glad you were able to stop in. Right? She is so a fibber, Marta. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> if you want to learn how to do 3D uh, canvases, a uh, uh, next uh, sort of. Yeah, Marta's the one next to Finnebear, I would say. And I've watched a, 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 some other people on um, on YouTube do them. Uh, uh, next to Finnebear, I would vote for Marta any day. Okay, so this is what we got. This is what we have, not what we got. I can speak English today. All right, so these are the papers that I made last week. Um, we used Marta stencil, we used a couple of um, Finnebear stencils, and we used um, um, a couple of the Stencil Girl stencils. And I really loved how, like, some of these came out because we had used metallics in between. Like, this is one of Marta's stencils. You can kind of see it in there. It's like ghosting. We ghosted uh, the stencils in there. Um, so I really like some of these papers. And... Um, so that's one stack we're going to pull from. We have another stack. Let me move this up so it's not blowing papers around. The other stack to pull from is we have tissue papers and book papers. All, these are all words, letters, things like that. Okay? So this is the other stack to pull from. And then we have all my miscellaneous other magical papers that I've made, jelly prints, and all of that. These are some, uh, I'm not going to tell you what these are. This is some, I have to get some more stuff to make these, but this is not, it's not jelly prints, and it's not eco-printed, um, but I don't have the stuff to make different kinds of these, so, so I'm not going to divulge what the, that, that is yet, because i got to get some more different kinds of things to make it, but these are all my different handmade papers and some that were gifted to me and all that. So we'll use, we can use some of that. And then the other thing that I want to incorporate, the, so we have, we have three, this is the fourth thing I want to incorporate is some different um, uh, napkins. Now I do know the one thing that I kind of want to have kind of like in the background on some of them is like, some neutrals, black and white, maybe some gray and white, some blue and white. Something that's going to calm the... Me too, Hila, me too. Way too many choices. <laughs> well, Debbie, that's why you're here. To help us make the right choice. Uh, we're making backgrounds today. Okay? So... Um, we're, we're experimenting with backgrounds, um, yeah, um, so, and, and kind of with the black and white, you know, we have, we have neutrals here with our, our words and stuff, um, thank you very little, <laughs> welcome to the club, Hila, welcome to the club, you'll love it. Did you see, did you get the email for, for July stencils yet? I think they're cool. All right. Um, as far as color scheme, um, we don't have to uh, really worry about that as far as the main color scheme. But I do know that, you know, I've seen on choose color combo and vibe, like vintage, right. So, I, let's start somewhere, right? Debbie, you're really good at background, so kind of give me one of your favorites or kind of get us started somewhere. The, I, I don't really have a direction right now, so I don't care about color, I don't care about the vibe. I don't care about the combo. I kind of want a direction, um, uh, where to start, where to go, you know, um, cause we can make all the backgrounds we want. And then from there, 
I'll choose the ones I want to use. And I, But the only thing I want to have is I want to be able to have white space. Um, and whether, you know what I mean? Like I want to have some white space with within the background. Does that make sense? Like, well, here's, here, let's, let's use Martha's paper pack. Or I could even pull out, um, Um, even like the, um, you know, but even, I think Martha's would be the best, but even, even some of the Stamparia papers are really nice because they mix papers really well. But then like, if you look at Martha's, like her background, even when she's got, see, like even when she's got flowers on here, she's got all this wonderful goodness in the background, right? So I want to kind of do something along those lines where I have all this goodness in the background, but there's going to be, you know what I mean? Like, and I can take gesso in that to, for wherever I'm going to put my main image, but I want to have that nice flow to the background, right? I want to be able to take the background. I don't want it so busy that our eyes are going to be like popping out of our head and we don't have, you know, places to rest things that don't coordinate, things that don't look good together. Does that make sense? Like, you know, in a journal, we can go crazy and do whatever we want. Get rid of... <laughs> What's taking a look up? Well, Susan, you could always, um, do you have, is there any, um, anybody you want to maybe gift them to it? Any, anybody in the art community that you thought of maybe gifting all that to, or maybe you can send it to somebody and then they can donate it out to other people that, you know, if you have to downsize, you know, like find someone to send a big bulk of that to. And then they can divvy it out to other people within the community that they know that could use it, maybe. Just a thought. Um, okay, so Debbie, what, what are like some, like if you were to just like pick a color combination that you would want to start with, what would you, what would you think? And I'm just going to start um, cutting papers or getting papers ready. Um, or maybe you want me to like pull a paper that I want to start working with. You want to do it that way? Because um, a lot of these papers I have to cut off the edges and stuff. Like, you know, these ones I have to cut off the edges. Um, I'm always in the market for paper. And, you know, so if you want to, you know. Or, Yeah. You know, maybe have somebody hold it for you, or can you put it in storage maybe for until you get situated? You know. Pick one strong pattern or napkin. Okay. All right. I can do that. One strong pattern or napkin. Okay. Find which one I really, really want to start with with it first. I do want to start with one of these, so let me put this over here for now. No pattern, no. These are like background papers. These aren't really patterns. These are these are all backgrounds. The words in these are all like backgrounds. So, um, and then like the black and white. These are fillers. So. What I do know is I'm freaking hot. Um, 
You know what? Circles are too easy. <laughs> I got to get out of my easy zone, okay? This one's kind of nice, though. I do. Everybody likes this napkin. Or jelly print powder. We can do that. Because napkins are really kind of like extras, too. Okay, one jelly print. Boom. Hmm. already. Let's start with this one. I like all the squiggly lines. So, yeah. And I don't want, I don't know if I want, like, crazy tears or, like, my compulsion to be, have structure. <laughs> you know, my, my compulsion to do that. So, huh, maybe I need, I need help with that, too, while we're doing this. <laughs> my two to three coordinating papers. Okay. Well... And you guys can pipe in, too. I mean, bring this over. But I want to have, like, some different stuff. Like, it doesn't have to be blue. Like, I want to do, you know, how you have different colors that you incorporate. You know? Like, you're just so good at that, you know, you mix colors and patterns, and it just looks fantastic. This one might be nice. Oh, let's do that one. One might be nice. Okay. And then... No, that's just that's the same color for me. Get it. Never mind. That one's a little weird. I want to oh, I really like this one too. Though. No. I want to use this napkin today. Sometime this could be the next focal thing I want to go after. <laughs> mm, that's kind of nice too. That, that's, you know how I did that, um, that coffee page or whatever? That's kind of what I'm kind of not looking to do, but I mean, it kind of, sort of. All I want right now, I, I need to like, ooh. okay. So what do we like of the napkins? Five napkins here. We got one, I think we need some black and white or something, but. 
you know, hey. Okay, the peacock, where's that one at? Where's that go? Where did I just put it? Oh, for heaven's sakes. Oh, there it is. Okay. And yeah, we can we can um, make papers too. Whatever I don't, whatever we if we find something and I don't have something, I can pull out inks and stencils, you know, to make a coordinating paper to go along with it. You like the three bottom ones? Okay, so these okay, so these are out. Okay, so out of these three. I really like this one, so I think I'm going to include that one. So out of these two, which do we like? Audience participation now. This is where you all come in at now. I'm just saying. <sighs> <laughs> right, there you go. You're my... Right, right, yeah, okay. Good job, okay. Anybody else? Right or, right or left? Everybody? So I've got two for the right. I love this napkin. I've got a couple more. I got, Or like, i got one more left of this one. All right, so, all right, we're going to go with that one. All right, so that's what we've got. Okay, is, all right, so we've done our, our first one. So now i got to take off. got to take off the extra layers. Remember to save your napkin backs, too, because, like, um, they're usable. You can jelly print with these. You can ink print with these. You can mono print with these. Um, so save those. Now, now, how do I want to do this? And I only want, I really only need, um, this is what? This is, how long is this? Oh, this is 11, okay. So, I really only need, that's, that is 11. So, actually, I only need, I only need a bit of this. Where's my pencil? Oh, in my bag. My bag of pens. My bag of pens. Eight and a half by eleven. So we only need to fill this space. Let me start moving other papers out of way. Get white base text. Huh? What you talking about, Willis? Yeah, we'll do the, the Peacock and Chevron next. What did I 
here, but oh, this one and this one. Hi, Tammy! Oh, Gara's distracting. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, guys. I know, I got them in piles out of my way. Principal back there. Scissors going again. Okay. Oh, wait. I love the leaf-like type prints that are in the back. They're in this one. Oh, gotta make some more papers like this. Okay. Okay. So now, obviously, we're not going to use all of this, all of these napkins. But this is our base paper, and like I said, I want to leave some white space. Right? We don't want to cover the whole thing. Um, and I don't, I, I don't know how random I need to be. Um, do I just want to tear and just kind of put it down crazy or what? I mean, trying to think about how, I mean, I, I kind of like this pink in there a little bit. I don't want it to be all blue. Do I want to be structured now, Debbie? Is that how you approach it? Or are you just kind of... Because I know you usually work around an element, but I, we're not working around an element right now. We're just... We're kind of just doing a background. But I want to... Like I said, I want to do bits and pieces and places, but... In three places but different sizes. Okay. All right. So you use all of them together in each three places? Or you just, or what? Like I have five pieces here, right? So would you use all five in three different places? Is that what you would do? And kind of thinking about, you know, what I'm going to be having. I want them to be organic too. I don't. I don't want them so structured as I normally would be. I guess. Um, oh, let me get my craft net out too. We're going to be gluing here in a minute. And well, I don't want to be getting glue on my nice, pretty table. And my brush. I mean, I know I've seen you do it, but like, I don't know. I'm acting brand new, I know, but I just can't never, like, I know what I want to get, but I just know if I try to do it on my own. Like, you guys have so many great ideas. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let me just do this. Let me just let me just do this. You know what? Actually, I think. Oh, I know what I'll do. Okay. Okay. All right. I got this. No, I don't. But I'm, I'm gonna try. Okay. I think. Well. <sighs> Black and white text. Oh.
I wonder, can I use Tim Holtz's uh, paper? I wonder. I don't know if that's going to be, is it, is it, can I use that and work I'm going to sell? Does anybody know? Hmm. I don't know if I can use this. I don't know. I better not use it because I don't know if I can use it. I don't want to um, get in trouble. But I know I can use this. And this is... So I'll just take his out and I'll just use the ones I know I can use. Like, if I'm doing a painting, that's one thing, but if I, this is going to, this is something a little bit different. Okay, so let me just put this back in my, where's my bin? Oh, there. All right. I'd rather just be safe than sorry. So, you know, I know I can use tissue paper. So we'll just, we're just going to go with that, okay? And how do I want to, if I am a lover of words, I love words, so I know I can use that, so, okay. I have, I have, uh, pa I have, uh, what do you call it, papers out. Um, copyright free book paper and stuff, so. No worries there. And I do have a little bit of really old music paper. And this is old. I think this is old paper. No one's I, I think this is okay too. I don't know. Can't read it. It's in another language. Then, and this paper is going to work because it's just the uh, mixed media paper. So, um, yeah, it's just going to work. And I'm just tearing. Um, and I'm kind of thinking about... What I'm putting, what I'm going to be putting on this. It was probably going to get some gesso on it, too, at the end of the day. I don't want it to be... It's going to get some... I'm going to get some other work put on it, too. They want it to be out here. Oh. I didn't look up, sorry.
Well, I should have looked up. I didn't. I didn't. Trying to visualize, you know, I'm trying to you uh, channel my inner Debbie and think about how you place your 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 bunnies. <laughs> okay. Um, we still got this one to contend with, so no worries. Oh, we're gonna get this line. I want this line. This line is good. This line will be very good. Yes, yeah, as soon as I put the line down. Okay. Go ahead, Giggs. <laughs> I got that far, but what were you going to say before she said stop? <laughs> now she's calling me. Let me put you on speaker. Yes? You are all over the place. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. Black and white, larger pieces. When that's done, then go in with that gray and white napkin, and then go back with your blue and white. You're... you're and too small a strippy strip. I know. I see. This is why I said I need help. I'm in journal mode. <laughs> oh my God, you're killing me. I know. Okay. Scratch that one. <laughs> Are you so You know what we should have done? Huh? Why don't uh, you can join me Friday when I when I no. stream or stream uh, when you're done at work. I don't give up easily. somewhere. Don't go back to it. Oh, Jesus. I have more paper, you know. Well, then we're starting over. It takes me two seconds. <laughs> why? Why, why? Why are you drawing the line? Oh, because that's how big I need the paper. Oh, okay. But never mind. I'm back to the page I had. What? Now what you want? Well, okay. Let's do this. Start with some text. This time, use, like, the yellow-based text. Bigger pieces. You're getting too strippy. I know. This is what I told you. I'm in journal mode. But the, but the piece that, like, the napkin piece yeah. that you have, that's yeah. about the right size. But I usually make them go from the, the like, bigger and from the sides. Okay. And Does so that make sense? Yeah. And then once I get three or four of those down, then go to your next color print and add some of it. And again, I try to do odds. So let me see that piece you have in your hand. Am I wrong behind? You? This is the this is the the text tissue paper. Okay. Yeah. Do Hi, Patsy. Like do the lower. Kind of thing, you know what I mean? Like, go to that lower right corner, a big, big ass chunk. I got a big ass chunk. There. So we got to. Uh, you want lower. me? I can. Put, huh? Lower right. This is the lower right. The lower right hand side. There you go. Yeah. But it says the lower right hand side. You were putting it at the top. Oh, you were behind me. Yes, you have to remember, you're, I'm watching. Yeah, what you're watching, but what you're telling me is. I'm not on stream guard, so I don't see real time. I know, it's okay, but let me, I can make this piece bigger. I got more paper of that. And now go back to what I was saying. 
whatever that dictionary print was. Yeah, I can make this a, one. Get a bigger piece. Uh huh. And put it up, sorta of in the top, kinda not in the corner, but sorta of in that top. From the top in that open space. From the top in that open space. But I want it to be okay. Yeah. You want more white base because all your stuff. Yeah. Oh, I like that too. What you were just doing, where it's like matching up, making that piece bigger. Yeah, I was going to do that, but I don't yeah, want. Up. Don't worry about it. I want the edges to be organic. I don't want um, straight edges. We'll try not to, Joyce. But not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, no! That's not. That's not even all that bad. Okay, let's just not even. No, that's good. Yeah. I mean, I like. I know how to collage, but like, th this is completely different. This is new, new for me. Like, I've never. I, I, I'm used to working yeah, in the jersey. I don't think about it. I, I know. It. And my paintings are different. Like, my approach is different. But this is something but I. You use smaller pieces. I know. That's, that's one of the big things. Is it gets really choppy. Okay. Now, wait. Let me fix this one corner now. But I, but I do think when you're done and it's dry, then do your little gesso y thing. I'm to gonna. Melt the pieces together and get those white spots. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna. There's the, you know I, just, I just want to get the it, background done. I just want to get yeah. some backgrounds today. That's all. I'm not worried about doing the gesso or anything like that. Right now, it's right. just about the background. Well, the gesso will meld it together the way you do it. Yeah, okay. So, I got, now, do I got enough text on there now? Yes, I think so. Now, okay. Now, now, you want to go to that napkin? The, this one that you're calling granny white? Blue napkin. Okay. Yeah, but not the line. We'll use the line would be one of the last things. Yeah. And, but you can get some of that softer blue and fill in some areas of the softer blue. Yeah. Save the line for later. Okay. The line would be more of a top piece. Okay. And again, not piddly little pieces. I'm not. Oh, you do want some more of that napkin, yeah. Uh, I would go on the right side. Middle right. Well, it's not. It's sort of in the middle, but not in the middle. Over, yeah, right there. Right, yeah, you're, yeah, you're in the right spot. Right. That well, that I know. It's just and like I you. I like, like your collage style when it comes to this sort of thing. Yeah, too large, like a too larger, and then a smaller piece. I had to mess with it, right? Does that make sense? Like all. Yeah. And when you go to cover stuff up, I wouldn't. I really like the pattern in that napkin, and it's letting the white show through. I love. I love this napkin. I have a pack of it. I won't give up any of it. <laughs> Napkin, it's a this is the one I used on that, that first chicken page that everybody was like, oh, my God, about. Okay. In fact, that napkin I would use with the yellow and gray chevron again. I probably will. Because it, it's also going to coordinate with what I what the special project is kind of. Well, and right now the papers we picked out, and if you use that peacock and that yellow and this, the two could coordinate together. If you're thinking in lines of. Yeah. Yeah, I think she is, Susan, cutting it down where that line is. You are shortening the paper, right? Uh, yes. Oh, that's good, Shauna, where you've got that. That's good. Okay. Now, blue paper. This paper. Uh, this. I'll go with the soft blue napkin next. Yes. Um, now, do we want... Uh, I want this line. I just, I want the line, this gold line. Yeah, but that's towards the end. Okay. Because it's, you want it to be in the, you want it, that's going to be in the end because it's stronger. Okay, so then the only other paper besides this one, this is not blue, this is not napkin, this is jelly print. Yeah, I could throw some pieces of that in, but. The only two, the only papers I have left is the jelly print that I started with. This one. 
and this paper and this napkin. Okay, so save the line. Okay. Save those for the end. And, and maybe go with some of your lighter, that, that one that had like the leafy print. Oh, this one. No, that's too strong. That other one, the little one on the craft. Oh, 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 never mind. This one. The pieces, yeah. That one. Oh, yeah, yes. Different that one's going to look really good. Yes, I forgot I pulled this one, too. I love this one, too. And then don't use any of that soft napkin. Just use that and just use those lines from that napkin. Yes, I get what you're saying now. Because you've got too many choices. Well, you said, I was picking out what how many quantities you said. Yeah. But then I usually edit them down. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that's fine. That's too strong. Go to the other one. The one that's got the silvery. Okay. Because I'm sorry, because I'm... That was my first choice. Because you'll see that other stuff under it. This one you can't see through it. The craft? Yeah, because it's got so many layers on it. See? Yeah. It's very... I like, I like that one with the silvery. Okay. I don't like... Well, I pulled it. Beige. I like this one. Yeah. I don't like the beige with this color combination very much. Okay. But that's just me. Yeah, that's good. It, where? Where? In the corner where you had it. This one down here? One the, down the bottom? Yeah. yeah. Or the top. From the top. Down from the top might work. Um, you might need to shorten the piece. Like, it, I don't know if you wanted to cover that, cut into that. Uh, well, that. I need I need to cover this piece a little bit because I'm, well, I kind of messed up the. Oh, okay. I kind of messed, I don't want to. Yeah, that was good across the top there. Yeah. And then I would put one sort of in the middle right side. Yeah, that's good. I like this dark strip right there. I think uh, well, you can trim it. You're going to trim that top anyway. Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, I think, I, but I don't think I want it on the edge. I think I want it. What about maybe, a little? Uh, maybe along the, like a, long, yeah, that's not bad. Or you could put it to the right of that text tissue up at the top in the middle. Oh, that's nice. Above the, the right napkin and right along the. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now what? More of this one? This was well, our. I would put that piece, that little piece, I would put it maybe up next to that text. Yeah, up higher. Yeah, there. That's good. Yes. Okay. So now I would go to that more predominant tree. Yes. 
well, whatever that scribble scrabble stencil is. Yeah, uh, I love this stencil. <laughs> yeah, I need to order some of those. You do, you do. This is a very, I love that. Oh, I want to go. It's a mask. Yeah, but, but it's, it's just so, pretty. oh, I love, I have so many, I have a few of them. You really need to get them. Yeah, it reminds me of the, that TWC craft. Yeah. Trim stencil. Oh, no, I don't, uh, let's put Okay, so I would go probably middle right, a fairly big chunk, turn it with the white side towards the center and the bluer side towards the edge, maybe. Um, I don't want to, yeah. I don't want to lose this, this, this little, this little... But I know, I know what's going to go on here eventually. And I know some of this is going to get whited out in here. Yeah, you're going to, you're going to, I like it on the edge there, but I would probably make it a little smaller. But you'll kind of cut some of that off, but I like it more vertical than horizontal. I liked it when you had it vertical on the right hand side. Like that. No, not horizontal, vertical. Up, down. Yeah, I know. Side. Remember, I'm, a, I'm ahead of you. <laughs> I know. Up, down on the side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, where you've got it, that's good. I'm just trying to balance the, the dark to the light, you know. Yeah. Oh, I gotta plug my fan in because it died. Are y'all laughing at me? Because <laughs> I'm learning something today. I'm learning Debbie style collage. I love her style of collage. Sorry, but I do. <laughs> well, actually, and you all have this free form collage. I don't. I don't do this. I'm top, structured. In the top center, maybe in the top center, next to that skinny blue strip. The white part, the more wider part. Yeah, the, the white to the right of that skinny blue strip. Strip. But more of the white, right? Yeah. 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 And remember that white will allow that text to show through in some places, right? Yeah. When you lay straight in the middle or more just next to this going one? Going down, kind of mimicking, yes, but not that big, of course. Okay. Yes. Yes. Because okay. it's going to fill in sort of that center and pull your eye down. Okay. All right. This one is done. And then I would say that is done. Yep. And, you know, I would probably maybe even use, I don't know, I would use white. No, wait. It's not done. It's not done. It needs the gold strip. No, I know. It needs the paint to meld it. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, it needs this. It, it, it needs the strip. It needs the, the gold strip. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think on the side. This one. And I can even cut it down. Um, I think on, right now I would say across that lower left, going up across that blue from the lower left okay. is where I would try it. But it, And I can cut it down even more, but it needs to have, it needs to have this strip. I like it there on that, on that left side from the, starting from the bottom. But a little off the edge, sort of, kind of covering up where that gray napkin is, where the edge of that. Ah, there, 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 there. I like that. Yeah, yeah. That little, and then we'll put another one short 
somewhere else. Yeah, I have more, so I just I right. I know I want this piece to have this gold striping. Okay. All move right. it in a little. Move it to the right a little, not on the edge. I have, I, it's already down. We said okay. yeah, so that's what I did. These aren't going out. These are just going to be backgrounds that I'm using. Um, so, Okay, and now you said another one. Where did I put the other one? Maybe another one, yeah, sort of in that. Because um, I have more of this. Maybe in that center sort of where they're, or maybe from the top down. Um, from here? Not as, huh? Not as long. The but story. I'm thinking maybe it needs to go sideways, though. Don't we want to put, like, maybe... No, not on this one. Not on this one? Okay. Not on this one, because you've got those circles and you've got... Yeah. So all maybe... That organic movement. Okay, I'm going to stop for a second. What about not there? there. Uh, middle. Middle? The middle. Put that little piece in the middle. Not there. Is that good? I can't. No, I don't want I would put it down in the middle, like smack dab in the damn oh. middle. Oh, okay. Sorry, Gracie. Okay, I got to see it, though. So you're going to have to wait for me in the lag. Over to the left. Next to the, the between the two gray circle napkins. Oh, that's what I had it right here. Down in the bottom. Yes, but maybe a little lower. Okay. Done. Next. Yeah. Yeah, I like where you ended up putting it. Okay. Great. Fantastic. Now, when you go to finish these, you might want to still put some washes of your watercolor. Well, they're getting a different kind of treatment on top. They're for, yeah, you'll see eventually. They're going to get some gesso and some other things. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say about that. All right, so now we're doing another one? Yep. So get rid of those other paper scraps. I'm done. Right now I'm just measuring and getting this one ready. Yeah, I'm just saying. We're, yeah, these are, these are, we're doing these assembly style. I'm not stopping. It's just go. It's just go and. I do want to save some of this for that because that, I love that napkin. I'm so, I'm glad I bought, I found that and bought a pack of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good napkin. Okay, that goes over there. All right, this 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 little bits we'll keep I'll keep those. Okay, we'll keep this. Maybe we'll use some of this, or maybe I'll use some different book text. Maybe we'll, maybe this one we'll use music paper. Okay, we've got music paper. And it's gonna be our text this time. You can use the yep. more beige combo of papers if you want to. Yeah, well, I do have so I do have some other older book texts too. Yeah. Um. Oh, here. This is some 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 things. This is thicker. I don't, I oh, here's some more. Uh, yeah, we'll I'll use those. Yeah, we that's have, good. Those are good. We have these. Those are always good. Yeah, and then. That's a music paper, maybe even. Yep, and we have this and this. And we have music paper, and we need something to go with this. Get some more of that. Yeah. Um, you're getting way too many choices again. No, two napkins. Because yeah. you're, because you're thinking little strips, little pieces, too busy. Okay, okay, putting it away, putting it away. I got collage paper <laughs> and three napkins.
napkins. Right? Okay. No, again, put the napkins to the side. I did. They're off to the side. <laughs> okay. Okay. Start with some bigger pieces of the music paper. Hold on. Hold on one second. I do like that paper you have in, had in your hand, the text yellowy one. But I wouldn't worry about that till later. Yeah, um, yeah, these three is what we're going to use for a background. And again, bigger pieces don't think linear stripes. I know. And I like to be, well, no, the newspaper will put like that. I'll put that one like that. I like that. I don't turn the text sideways very often. Do you? I, it bugs I, me when it's sideways. I do. I mean, sometimes I do, but then I'm like. Uh, well, music paper, not so much, but I do like, I do like text to be. That's the only thing. I like it to be structured. To be readable, you guys right? laugh at me because I like things to be straight. I don't like things to be crooked. But I don't mind it to go sideways, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't mind it to be upside down or to go sideways, but I like everything to be structured, <laughs> typically. But in this case, I don't care that it's, if it's, you know, that it's organic and, yeah. Anyway, well, we're not going to put a lizard on there, but... Uh, Oh, and it's going to get covered up. It won't matter. And we're not going to put the word immigration on there. That's not going to happen. Um, Flip it over. Yeah, uh, we got an iguana, but he'll, so he'll. There you go. Yeah. Well, All right. Stick that in one of the corners. Yeah. Okay, like that. It's, it's not going to show in the end, probably. Probably but not. I would stick it down in one. I would leave it exactly the size it is. And I would stick, actually, I would stick it in the upper right corner, and I would put the music paper over it. Like that? Paper on top of paper? Yeah, that's fine. You took the word off. I don't care. I would have left. No, no, don't tear it up. It was already torn. I, I'm going to wait for you to catch up. paper in the center. Oh, that's just because the way it was. But... Well, it looks... Well, because I had it over here where it was going to be off the paper. But... Flip the paper over. But we could do so it like that and then just take... Just so I take out the word immigration on there. You're going to cover it up. It's not going to matter in the end. Yeah. So. And then we want the music paper yeah. on top of it? Okay. Yes. Like that. Yes. Oh, we're not going to do potato disease. Shauna, stop reading the dictionary. <laughs> down here. Okay. <laughs> She's laughing at me. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> okay. okay, now get a big chunk that can go on the right hand side. Stop reading the words. <laughs> um, how about we put the, uh, what about this? Now put it in the middle, like the, the left side on the middle. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, right, yeah. I'm stopping. I'm going to let you catch up. Now get another big piece. Yeah, there. I like that in the corner up at the top. That was good. A third piece in one of the corners. I liked it in that upper, that piece in the upper. That's good, too. 
Okay. Either that corner or the other corner. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. I'm going to take my back, napkin backs off. Okay. So now music paper or some of that text tissue. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can that text tissue is good. I have. Why are, you Why are you moving that dictionary paper? I'm not. <laughs> yeah. There you uh, go. Okay, stop with the dictionary. Uh, you gotta remember, you're behind me. I put it back where you I wanted. Know. I put it back where you wanted it. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> okay. Why are you messing with the peacock? Why are you messing with the peacock thing? I was taking the backing off, so they're ready while you're catching up. <laughs> while you was catching up, okay? All right. Now I have the tissue paper, the word tissue. Now, can I, can I put Keep that? It big and put it somewhere in that middle part. Okay, keep it big and put it somewhere in that middle part, she says. Smack dab in the middle. Smack dab in the middle. Okay. Let me put these down so she knows that they're right where they're going. Lord have mercy. I am going to get this. I'm, I'm going to... Uh, go to school with Debbie. Lay it down. Perfect, perfect. In the middle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Wait. I know you're. paintings and collage, my style of journal pages and collage um, a million times. It's very structured. This is, this is different. And I need this, I need this, I need this to be, yeah, I just need this to be. So, all right. Something funky? Yeah, yeah, I one at the bottom, remember? All right, no, that's this one that I put up in the top left. But if you want one in the oh. bottom, I can put one in the bottom like that. Yeah, just maybe a little one. A little, it, this is a little tiny ripped little piece type. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, just something small on that bottom to bring some of that darker color down there. You know what else is good too is the pattern sewing pattern paper. Well, that's why I was. That, that, yeah, and I um I have I have some of that, and you know I also. Well, not, I mean, but you know. But yeah, that good. well, that's it's why really I also good. pulled out um black and white napkins to to use for yeah, that purpose. That one you had was such a full print. Yeah, I know. I have more though. I have other black and yeah. whites too. All right. So the next thing is put some of that gray. Printed tissue down. Great printed tissue? The tissue from the last one that we used. The the the, nap what they are. the napkin? The, in it. the napkin. The napkin, yeah. Okay. You should. Isn't it gray? It, it's it's a gray green color. It's very oh, it looks gray on screen. It's very unique. It's white with little gray. Just like one or two of those circles. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I would put one, probably I would put one in that white space in the left, and I'd put one in the white space at the top. Oh, top here. Because I'm counting them with the music paper. Okay, one there. In my brain. Yeah, like there. And going over the print, I like it going over the dictionary. Because then you're putting that print on top of that print. Yeah. Long ways the way you had it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then. That's and put one at the top, yes. Okay. 
Now we can put this one here. Yeah, that one fits at the top good. Maybe sideways down here? At the bottom yeah. right? No, I would put one on the left where you had it. But in, in oh, I see the white space, right? Yeah. And having some of that go over that uh, dictionary paper is good. Yeah. Well, that I love. That's why I, yeah, I love good. using tissue paper and napkins, especially if they are white because of that. And, and the, again, the rice paper, I too. The one in the left. Okay. Yes. Okay. I will do three of those. Okay. Because that's three circular elements. Because if, if you do more than three, got to do five. But yeah, I'm not doing five. No, I know that. But you know what I mean? That's where yeah. that slippery slope. So right, right uh, another one on the left or one on the right? I would put one in the lower right bottom yep okay that's what i was going to originally but. yeah yeah but, and that one could even be a little bit bigger like part of a one hole and part of another one or something yeah that looks good okay and then we're going to go to the yellow and gray chevron. Yep, I want to use that. Now, I love this napkin. I don't have any more of it, I, unfortunately. I put it on a bag. Yeah, because I, I, this is I the last. The same one. Yeah, I put it on a bag. this is the last little piece. This is the last piece of it I have. And I love this napkin. So now what do we want? What do I want to do here? Same thing, sort of? Okay, so now the yellow and gray chevron. I need to see it on the paper. My first instinct is to put one in the lower left corner, like a piece that's about, because it's going to be, this is going to be uh, horizontal, yep. not vertical. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I would, I would tear a zigzag piece that's kind of rectangular. Okay. Yep. So that. Not that big, of course. Yeah. But again, I would make the chevron horizontal. Yeah. Yeah. So have that correct. You keep turning it vertical. No. Keep it. No, keep the zigzag horizontal. That is horizontal. No, it's not. Keep the chevron horizontal. Turn it 90 degrees. That, this is vertical, dear. This, this, going up and down is vertical. I'm talking about the chevron pattern being heaven. I'm talking about the pattern itself. Right. The, the pattern. Well, that's not how I would have done it. So you do what you No, I haven't put it down yet. You see, the pattern, if I put it's it. It's too small. It's what? Too small. Too small. Okay. But take it up to the top. Take that piece and put it between the dictionary paper and that circle. Okay. Vertical, which is up and down. Yeah, like that. Okay. But up at the top, and are you going to go points up or points down? Points down. Okay. So up at the top, the top, I know I'm behind you, but you keep going. Okay, now back to the bottom. A piece like that, but wider. Okay. And not as long. Not as long, okay. Across that bottom, not, not at the very corner, but come up, cut across that piece of dictionary paper. Okay. And come all the way across to where that circle is. Where that chevron is kind of touching the circle. Okay. Not that way. Not that way. Again, same way that you did at the top. 
but a wider piece. The piece that you're showing me is too narrow. Don't tear it. And she tore it. I have more. <laughs> you're still not turned the right way. Turn it 90 degrees. It's too small. Okay. But how many inches do you want it? I want it to go from the edge of the paper uh -huh. to the edge of that circle. Okay. That piece you have, scoot it up and put it on the music paper. No, she got rid of it. No. Okay. I'm going to stop. Okay. Turn gonna... it like the other one. Okay. This is Shana, I don't want those zigzags running up and down. I want them to run horizontal. I'm turn the paper, turn the napkin 90 degrees. I'm going to stop and have you catch up. I have the big piece in my hand. Yes, and it's big enough. Okay. And I have it in my hand. And now it's just laying on the paper. It's not doing anything. We gotta remember the lag, okay? It's, yes. Okay. okay. Take it from this side. Don't know. Stop turning it. You had it right. I wanted the zigzag chevron to run exactly the same way. Yes. I want it to go to the edge of the paper. Half of that size. But you better not tear it wrong, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't torn it. It's it's stuck in limbo. It's doing nothing okay. right now. That is the direction you want it. Okay. You want it about half that size. Okay. Push it over to the left on the edge. Okay. Pushed over to the left on the edge. About so that it's a long rectangle. Okay. Running east to west, as Joyce would say. <laughs> but now, if I, let me fold it. Yeah. Not that, cut it that way. I'm not going to. Okay, I'm folding it. I have not cut it. Yes, you scooted it over to the left. Good yes. girl. And now I folded it, and it's in the corner. It's not doing anything. But it's not going to be in the corner. Okay. You're going to bump it up off the bottom. Uh-huh. Don't cut it. Don't uh, cut that. I haven't cut it. Don't cut anything. You're folding it the wrong way. Again, your vertical and my horizontal are backwards. Okay. Fold it hamburger style, not hot dog style. <laughs> hamburger style. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's still not folding it right. I want that gray chevron to go from the left side of the paper and come across and touch that circle. Not sideways. Don't turn it. Turn it back and unfold it and fold it the other way. There you go. Oh my God, there we go. Go to the left. I'm, I'm talking to the video, I realize. I hate the lag. I know, that's why I'm waiting. I've gone over to the left just a little bit and it's there. All the way to the edge of the left, like it looks like it's coming off the damn paper. catch up. <laughs> Collage Debbie style 101. <laughs> I'll watch me get a D in this class.
And is, is that is that is that as big as you want it? Um, I'm not hating it. Okay. I'm tearing right now. Yes. Okay. Well, that was that was painful. No, because I, uh, the lag, man. I know the lag is the problem. The lag is the problem. I'm just saying. Whew. And I'm going to put the straight edge. Yeah, we're going to put one more piece on it and we're going to call it done. Yes. And I know exactly where I want it. Okay. And I think you already even have the piece torn over to the I side. do. I do. I didn't touch it. It's right over there. It's ready to go. Yeah, I need to have a drink. I need some Dr. Pepper. <laughs> okay. This is the same piece I had. Now, where do you want it? This is that little tiny piece I tore in original. I want it on the music edge, paper. On the music paper. On the right hand side. Where you on the top third, but leave some going the same direction. The chevrons go in the same direction. Letting you catch up. Okay. Hey, Marge. Hi to anybody I miss. Okay, turn it the other way. Girl, you got problems. Oh, no, the other way she said. I forgot, forgot, forgot. Other way. Okay, come lower. Come lower. Lower and stop it. Catch it up. Wait, we got to put the peacock on next. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. I forgot. But we're, we're not going to do very much to the peacock. No. Very little. Yeah. Is that good or you want it down lower? Go lower. There should be some music paper peeking out of the top. Ah, okay, gotcha. And I would probably tear the top of that napkin at the top. Yep. Because it looks like it's a straight edge. Yep. Um, and I would give it a jagged edge. I am. That was, that's finishing. That's, that's no problem. That's, that I always do. Okay. Now I think we're, we're. Oops. That looks really good, Shauna. Okay. I'm going with it. When you get done gluing this, take a picture before the peacocks. Okay. Yeah, because this will become a scan print that I can give right. to, yeah, to the members. Right. To the membership people. Right. To the you membership. Know what you could do with it is once you took a picture, you could go in and take out the pieces of white. Yeah. In the Photoshop. Yeah. And overlay it over like an old ledger. Yeah. And make some of it translucent. Yeah. Or something like that. It would be great for. Uh, for doing in Photoshop, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Well, the, I'm, I'm going to make all these backgrounds. Yeah, with the other one, too. Before you do any paint or anything. I'm going to. That was my first plan, picture. too, is to make um, these available to the members, to the channel members. Because that's how I'm developing my sets somewhat. Yeah. Okay. All yes, right. I'll take pictures along the way, so I, and sometimes I'll do, like, a close-up so they're a different scale. Okay. All right. Now right, the peacock. So now the peacock. Um, we'll take one fourth of it, like cut just. We just want one corner. Yeah. Of the napkin and get rid of the rest, because I don't know that we're going to use a lot of it, because it's. I don't strong. want a whole lot of it. I just yeah. I, this is very strong. I just want I little. Have, I have I have a couple. I have an, an idea or two. Good. But yeah, I like the peacock too, Joycey, but it's very. Uh, it's very, very strong. Yes. Okay. What's your idea now, ma'am? Little bits of it, little circles of it? The little. I'm thinking one feather of it. Yep. And I, like a teardrop shape. You know how that one feather? Yep. Yep. I'm, and I think I'm with I you. would put it, I would try it along side of one, like. Somewhere where the yellow is, I think, where the chevron is. But again, I would just do tear like a peacock feather of it. 
Now remember, this isn't tacked down. This is just being, yeah, just being stuck. And it could be, this can be crooked of some sort too. This doesn't. And I'm almost thinking that you could do two of these because, in my mind, the three chevrons mm -hmm. plus the two feather pieces could count as five. Yeah, you're right. Let me see. And I would put it in the off the bottom, like. Let me get out the other one here. Yeah, but put it where the base is at the bottom and the green is going to the top. Okay. Hold on, let me... You know, from the edge of the paper. Yeah, let me get this other one torn out. Yeah. Because I'm thinking two of these might be all you really want. Yeah, I don't want... Again, it's going to be... You'll, you guys will understand later. Okay, so we want the what now at the bottom here now? The, the, the inside part towards the bottom. Okay. You know, like where the base of the feather would be? Mm-hmm. And on the edge, if that makes sense. Yeah, like that. Well, like it's somebody laid it down. Where that empty white space is where I probably would go. Or where between the yellow chevron and the mandala. Somewhere along there, along the bottom. Okay, let me place these and then you tell me if you like them. Um, okay, I'm going to stop and you tell me if you like those. I don't like in the corner. I like it there, but straight on. I don't like them angled. Okay. Oh, oh, these will be the Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tell me if you like that. I like that. What you just did on the bottom. Okay. In the in the middle, next to the mandala, in between the chevron. Yeah, but it's got to touch the bottom. Oh, it's got to touch. Okay, so like. Unless you're going to draw a line with green later. No, I don't know. Right now, uh, what about this? Okay, what about that? I'm going to let you catch up. It, yes and yes, but again, I kind of think I would like a skinny line almost like it might the down. It might get one later. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I don't know. But do we want to? like that. But I kind of like the idea that you would put a skinny line and that you pull it up and you pull it down just a little so that you have just a bit. And then later on, do like a skinny with a, like a pin or something. Right. So we want this and little pointy part. You just lay the feather down. Right. And I might even go in and make wispy top part. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what about that? I would, again, I would, I think I would scoot it up just so it hit that gray chevron. Okay. Like Why that. did you flip it upside down? Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Right. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Let me know about this. I'm waiting for the, yeah. the video. Yep. Because you flipped it upside down. Yep. I know. I'm waiting for you to catch up. I got them saving these two pieces of that chevron. It's the only bit I got left of that. Yeah, I like. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's yes. going. I root the, yes. The bottom one, perfect. I would glue it. And like I said, I would add a green line later, and then I would take it with, like, and do some wispy tops, just like yep. it looks like you lay. And that actually, uh, actually, it, it's probably, actually, yes, that actually is probably very much a possibility. Okay. All right, it's down. Now the top yeah, one. The top, I would, <laughs> Barbara. And then I would do the same thing on the top one is scoot it down and leave a little bit of room. Make it come down so it touches the tip of it, touches the yellow. Okay. Hi, Barbara. And that leaves room for a line there. And then I think it's balanced. Okay. Next. Okay, let's do something with uh, maybe pinks 
or oranges or something or another. Let me get out a piece of paper. Where's my other piece of paper? Okay, you have, like, yeah, a little more. You've got it pushed to in the center. Push it to the edge of that yellow napkin. Ah, uh, too late. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, my right. It's all right. It's all right. It actually glued it a little more to the lip. I know this is hard work, Joycey. Oh, so, so go in if you want pinks and like corally color. Yeah, coral is go good. Go in and your stash and find a print. That has that strong color and maybe a pattern. Yeah, I'm 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 looking through my my. Not my. that I saw a lot of pattern. Most of that paper you pulled was grungy and had no pattern. Well, it's you know, hey. So uh, like you pulled too many of the same kind of prints. Well, we can always make a, pa a paper. I'm just saying. And these don't have to necessarily have. You got, you got about 10 minutes and then Mr. Epps is going to demand my attention. Okay. All right. I'm teasing. Tell, tell, tell Mr. Mr. Epps, tell Bob, he can have you later. <laughs> There's a show we watch. That I, I know, I know, I know. I'll, I'll, it's I'll, Wednesday, I know, I know. We'll make this one quick. Frank is in the laundry room. Aww. That's not fair. Um. Frank and Mr. Snuggles could go in my art room. I don't care. I love Mr. Snuggles. That's the neighbor cat or something, right? Yes, that's the neighbor's cat. That's our grand cat. Grand cat. <laughs> All right. This is what we got to choose from. parents are getting married and then they're going to move. Oh. I don't know what we're going to do. We may have to have. She said when they, they're going to get a house. Oh. So this is up. Oh. Uh, all right. So this is what we've got to choose from. And they don't have to have a pattern necessarily. They just the they're just colors for now, you know. Because really the, the the pattern or the the what you call it's going to come later when I do the painting and the and the drawing on this. I like number two personally. One, two, three, four. I like number two because it's bright. Okay. So we'll go with that. I don't want number four at all. This one? Nah, that's a magical paper. All right. But we're moving on. Pink orange. All right. Pink orange it is. Little something, a little color for everyone. All right. And then. So I'd get rid of all those papers except for number two. I know you're just cutting the edges off number three. Yep, I did that. I'm moving on. Um, I have a paper in here that's probably going to, that maybe coordinate with, no, that's too dark. Um, hold on. Uh, maybe that's got a little nothing on it. Okay, do you have a napkin that you like to go with it that's got a pattern? Yes, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. None of those have patterns, girl. Some of them do. No, they don't. You can't even see them. <laughs> she don't like my no blue. No blue. <laughs> Hi, Christine. <laughs> We're making a mess today. That's all. Those are beige and white. Well, right. they would be down. The first page is down. No, get rid of that one you just put over there. No. No, no, none of those. None of these? You're one of the two that are burgundy that you put on that top. They're the wrong color. Okay. Okay, none of those have color on them, so you didn't like those. Okay. Let's go to the napkins. We're going to the napkin pile. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Maybe that. No, get rid of those two purpley pink things. I did. I did. Well, I didn't. I still see them. You're ahead. You're behind. Thank the good Lord. Now move on. Those I, are okay. Those ones with the white are okay for a base. Okay. Uh, this is maybe a time for that black and white. No, oh, the circles, the circles. I got the circles. And that plaid that's back there. That plaid, plaid. That plaid. No, that's okay. not a plaid. This, no, that's not a plaid. No zebra. This, you missed the plaid. It's there. The I brought it back. I brought it back. Chill. Chill, chill, chill. But hold on a minute. I have one I think that'll go really good with this. I'm trying to find it. Just just, just give me a, a second. Here. No. Wrong color. You're behind. I don't know. You're behind. I was thinking of this one. I'm holding it up to the camera. I kind of like the plaid. Okay, the plaid can stay. But I do like that gold damask one that's at the bottom. Gold damask at the bottom. She likes one. Wait, hold on. I gotta go back to that. No, it's, uh, it's on. You have it under the pink one you oh, like. Oh, it's it's actually snowflakes, but we can use it. Yeah, but I don't care that it's not gonna look like snowflakes when you're done. No, it's not. Oh, I do like that one. I like that one. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I like that one a lot. Okay. See, I was told you I knew what I was doing. I got your plaid, I got your your Damasky thing, and I got the floor the floor to leave the other things, whatever those are. Alright, so what do I uh, no, 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 keep that pinky one, that that pretty one on the top. Yes, that pink one. Okay. That's the pretty one. Yeah, I got all the ones you wanted. I think so too. See? Yeah, I, I would start with the snowflake. Okay. And those creamy papers that are yours that have the craft, that have no color to them. Okay. All right. Put all the others to the side to go on top. All right. That's what I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't use any book text on this one. Okay. Over there. You know, the problem with this guy straight is it's so big, you have to like, like lean over to it. You can't, it doesn't fit. Can't get. Oh, yeah, you can probably hear my TV. If you gotta go, Debbie, I'll, we'll, we'll, the, the rest of us will figure no, this out. We're fine. Bob said it's fine. Okay. We, we, we'll figure this one out if we have to. If I can get this freaking napkin to freaking supper. I don't want you to start watching my show without me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, and, this. And just think of this as like, well, I would actually cover the whole paper with it probably and then. Move on, but I know you want some white space showing. I do, I do. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to cut this one. I'm just going to tear this one. Yeah. Yeah, just. You go over there. Just three places. I wouldn't even really worry where they go because we're going to cover them up. Yeah, I'm just going to. I'm just going to do it. See what you learned. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm going to fail now. <laughs> Hi, Belinda. 
I am so gonna fit. I'm sorry if I missed anybody coming into the room. I was not able to really look at chat because I was talking. I was talking and learning today. I like what you have so far. The thing I would do is maybe soften the edges, like rougher, but I still. Oh like yeah. Silly me, got too excited. I wish they would stop emailing me the politics stuff. I don't even care, I don't even care about wrinkles either. No wrinkles at. Mm-hmm. Visual texture. Did you get your package? I guess I can type in text. Oh, good. She got it. I don't know how well they can hear me either. They should be able to hear you. I think they can. I got you on speakerphone. And, you know, you're loud like me, so. Yeah. Okay. I think he's delusional. I think one of my cats is is seeing things. Why? Who? Which one is it? Skips it. He's fighting the corner of the bedspread like he's seeing an imaginary. Oh, well, how, he is old. And, and no, he's not. He's oh. the same age as Tay Tay. You're thinking Fat Fanny. Oh. She's sleeping somewhere. Candy want me to do put stop in the message and send it back. Yeah, he sees dead people. <laughs> That's right. He's like tripping over there. I think it was a bug, is probably what it was. Like a fly. Oh, probably, yeah. And I can't see it. Because catch And then I think his nail was hooked on the bedspread. So it just looked really weird. Because he gotten hooked on the, the fabric. And he was trying to get this the fly at the same time. Okay. Is that what you wanted me to do, Candy? Yeah. Okay. That's looking good. I go yeah down the bottom somewhere because this is just filler, you know. Yeah. You're not even gonna know it's like snowflakes necessarily. Right now, I want to put the like that napkin too. Yeah. Ooh, but I don't think I want to put a whole. We don't want to put a whole lot of this, don't we? Because it's so busy, like it's so. Yeah. We're going to cover some of that up. Yeah, that's true. Okay, but yeah, I would put... I would go with your print first. Oh, yeah. Your jelly print. And I would put three pieces of your jelly print. Oh, good job. Ah. 
No, maybe not I that. I know what you mean, Candy. I need to say stop because she's not listening. What? I did. I, I, I did. I did stop. I did call my jelly print. And, and some of these can overlap. Yeah, I like it there on that right side. Yeah. Just put it in three places and yeah. I put it where, like, I put another one on the left side where where those the snowflake paper and the jelly print is. No, it was good where you had it and put another one. I'm thinking there. Yes. Put one down in the lower, uh, lower left. That's good. It is a, I have a couple of these. This is one of our, our Smack and Dragon runs. Yeah, it, it looks, uh, so you got Shimmer. Uh-huh, and it's got, the, you know, from, it's got my copper and that pretty yellow and the pink. Yeah. And the little bit of red in there. Yeah, that looks good where you glued it. And then put another piece kind of up where you had that one. Yeah. That piece that you have that's already torn to the right. Okay. With that one instead? Okay. Yeah. I would put it in the middle where the snowflake, like overlapping. I would turn it 90 degrees and put it where those two overlap. Where it's more sideways? Yeah. Uh-huh. Like that? Sideways like that? Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. Now, we got circles or uh, plaid or uh, flour flourish. Okay. Here. I need, I would do the flourish next. We aren't going to very we're we're not going to use much of that plaid at all. Okay. Very very little because it's strong. But I like the flourish. Yeah. I'm... I would make the flourish a piece of the flourish go with each one of those side like where it's touching the pink paper you just put on. Uh huh. Put a piece of flourish that's touching. Like that's laying on top of next to, mm -hmm. so it's like a continuation, like that print came off of that paper. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to decide do I yeah. want it at the top or so the. I like it in the upper left when you okay. have it in the upper left corner. Or you mean the upper right? The upper left. I like it there too. Or like there. I like it there too, where you have it. Okay. No. Yeah, I'm. I gotcha. I gotcha. We're we're back. You're in, the up, you're in the upper right, so I'm gonna assume that I'm behind again. Uh, right now I'm in the upper right. Do you want it up in the upper left or the upper right? Either upper one. Left. Okay. Upper left. And do we want it to go sideways or up and down? Sideways. Okay. Coming from the side. Why are you in the right hand side? You're putting glue. You don't know your left from your right. I do. I remember, I'm ahead of you. I stopped. I'm waiting for you to catch up. Where it's laying right now is the left hand side. Yes, right there. Glue it down. Right there. Okay. Not on the top. On the side. Yep. There you go. Leave it. There you go. Bring it. This 
it's like trying to get someone else stand like you're with your brain. Okay. But and then to I, get someone else's head. Like I'm thinking. I'm thinking a little bit on the right here to overlap this one, this paper over here on the right hand side now. I would put a piece of that that goes over each one of those of your papers so that it kind of organically came off that paper. Like your paper just turned into that print. Does that make sense? Yeah. But I'm trying to decide do I want it in the upper right hand corner or do I want it just. I like it right there where you've got it actually. Okay. And I know I'm ahead of you, so I'm going to move up to the right, but I'm going to move it back down. Okay? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fret. I'm going to move it back down. Okay. That is pretty napkin. I, I do like this napkin a lot. A lot. A lot. And that's why I kept a lot of these background napkins, because I knew that I was going to be using it for this purpose. Okay, now, trying to, uh, no. Now I would put one down at the bottom on the right-hand side of that, if that makes sense. Okay, over my other two papers. So I, yeah, and it doesn't have to be a big piece. On the right, on the right hand side. Let me catch. Yeah. Okay. Let me. I was letting you catch up. I'm. I'm placing it and letting you catch up. That's good. Okay. I would go a little bit more onto the beige, but. I did. I did, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like it actually on that end better. Okay. All right. Now, plaid or circles. Which one's next? A little of the plaid, probably. And I mean very little. Okay. We don't want it's no. And I don't want long. no blue. Okay. I, I'm going to cut we off. We may audition it, and we may not like it, and we may ditch it. All right, let me... Um, I could almost go circles and go no plaid. I hate to say that. I know. But I want, I, you know, let me just pull off the, the little piece that I want to try to... I mean, because I know we probably won't use a lot of this, so I'm just going to put that up there. All right, now. And I would avoid the blue. I did. I only, pull, I only tore off, like, uh, what, six inches of orange and pink. Yeah, yeah. And now it's just kind of laying down here like a dead fish. I mean, I like the blue part of it. It's just not for this piece, right? I mean, it's very strong. Yes. Now. Okay. Try a piece in the upper right-hand corner going up and down. That piece... Try it in the upper right-hand corner going up and down. We're leaving some white space, Belinda, for... She wants empty space. Not that this one's got a lot of empty space. Yeah, I'm going to end up making white space, but... Just go over it with gesso and stuff, and it'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. In the corner, okay, come down about two inches on the edge of the paper where it's touching the pink. Am I waiting for it to catch up? Yes. <laughs> I'm... Did, you do what I, did you do what I just said? Yes. You're too, you're too, why is it in the, make it go over to the edge. Where's your edge of your paper? Right here where my hand is, well, it's at the edge. Okay, but come down, make it go off the page a little then some. I 
want it to lay kind of adjacent to that pink damask alongside of it. Oh, okay. Pink damask. Okay. Little bit. I'm going to fold this so it's look a little bit. So right where your hand is is where I want it. I know. I'm trying to trying to lay it just like, look just like that. Now I'm waiting. Yes, yes, yes. That big of a piece too? Yes. And okay. then the other half, save it and we'll use the other half somewhere else. And we're going to call the plaid done because we're going to count that as five. Yes. The demand plus the two plaid are going to count as five. Okay. You know, I'm trying, my brain's trying to think where the other plaid should go while you're doing that. Okay. I now, think I know. Now the circles. No, we oh. got to do the second piece of plaid. Yeah. Okay. I think I know where it should go. Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. I think it should go from the bottom damask up where the two kind of meet up on top of the snowflake. Okay. Let me get it. So on the damask, up, so right At about. At the bottom. Yep. Where, where it meets your jelly print. Yep. Up onto the snowflake. Okay, let me know. I'm going to place it down and stop. You tell me if that's right. Yeah, let me tear off the bottom a little bit. Okay. Make it a little Try bit. Get a rough edge. Yeah, on the bottom a little bit. Let me bring it up just a little bit more. I don't think it was quite up enough. Okay. Now tell me. take another picture of it before we put the circles on. Okay. Just to, because again, you could mess with it in PSD. Yeah. And remove the white parts. And I think it could be a really cool overlay. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. One. I need to see the circle now, Jen. I don't know what I need to Well, we only have, I mean, the blue is a really dark blue. I don't so want to use the blue. I just want to see, I think, I want to see the napkin to see what size circles it has. Yeah, I, it's got the pink and the coral that I like. Yeah, now I don't want to use that blue color. Yeah, oops. And I, did, I would cut the circles out and use them. Yeah, okay. Um, it's got... Really large, which I'm showing first, the large ones, and then it's got a medium one, and then, so in, in the pink, it's got large and, and medium, and then the coral are kind of the, uh, slightly under the medium. So I'm going to show you uh, the three sizes. Well, okay. 
Well, they really only have the three sizes that we can use as far as the pink and the floral. I mean, show me the next. Yes. Okay. I would get one large and two mediums. Okay. You pick the colors. I like those ones that you have. I like the lighter pink large, the dark pink medium, and the coral medium. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, would, They're all I in would, one corner, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that just, that way it saves the rest of the napkin, too. Yeah. I would take one on that one on the right-hand side is what I would grab. That's the and one I, I have. The, light, big, the big one that's in the dark coral. Yep. The coral and the dark one. And I would maybe do them with the water until that they're, because we may not, I would get the whole circle. We may lay it off the edge. I don't know where we want to put them yet. Okay. Well, here they, here they are. I see one of them now. Okay. Here I'm they are. I'm looking at the page trying to figure out where we want them. Oh, stop it. Cut the two little ones apart. They are. Uh, let me put them like that so you can see them better. Yeah. Okay, I think the little dark one up there by the stripe, where the stripe and your paper meet, I would put it on that little area like the darkest circle. I'm going to assume you've already done that, probably. Yeah, but I'm trying to figure out the placement, because we do want to save some of that, that, that plaid stripe thing for to show. Yes, I would put that there, but a, yeah, perfect. You got it is where I would put it. Okay. And then... Uh, then take the big one and put it... on the right side of the stripe on the bottom on top of the snowflake and the damask. Let me move my fan up, it keeps blowing the... Yeah. I know I had to I had to turn my fan up so it stopped moving it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, stop blowing my shit. <laughs> Alright, and then I would take the third one and I would put it on the left side. That's what I I knew it had to go somewhere on the left. And I don't know if it should I'm leaning towards where the, the bottom of that damask and even where it hangs off the paper where it's not a full circle maybe like a three quarter does that make sense what I'm saying yeah I put it on there I'll wait for you to and then you can go because you gotta go higher actually I kind of like it there I actually like it there. Okay. All right. Get out of here. Good night. Thank you. All right. We'll play again right. um, on Saturday. Yeah. Let's do a, a show on your show or something. You mean Friday? Or Friday. Yeah. So I'll send you the link. Yeah. Well, then, or, or the other, what are you going to do Saturday on your show? Um, I'm doing the canvas. So we'll do it on your show on Friday. Friday on my show. Yeah. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you. All right. Talk to you later. Love y'all. Love you. Bye. That was a 
that fun. Okay, I'm going to glue these down. Now, I'm willing to stick around and do one more. Who wants to play? Y'all want to pick and try? Think we can do it? <laughs> that's my girls <laughs> all right let me finish just putting these these puppies on here really quick and then we'll now think about what colors you would like and I then we'll start pulling papers Those papers are looking good all lined up next to each other. I'll show y'all at the end. Okay. So we got four done tonight. Not too bad. Well, we will have four done tonight once this one is done. Well, yeah, the, th th the rule of three or five is always, that, that's a given. It's, it's her collage concept. I had, to, I had to give it a few tries to kind of get it. It's, her style is just completely different. So, um, but yeah, whenever you're, there's actually two rules of, of thirds or odds when you're doing when you're creating your piece of art, um, there's the rule of thirds in using your pieces. There's also the rule of thirds when you're using or positioning your focal point or your image within the piece. You always want to um, wherever, whatever you're painting or whatever your image is, you always want to be on the third of the page.
All right, so do we have a color scheme we want to go with? Oh, I need to... Hot. Hot. <sighs> Greens. Yeah, we didn't do much green in the yellow one, so I guess we can do greens. All right, let me see what I've got. I think I have a piece I want to work with that really has some... What do we think of that? Too bright? I have... Oh, well, that's got a little more blue in it. Let's see. This one, another favorite. Well, yeah, I'll just say that. Um, that's too dark. Um, no, 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 no. There's little bits of this left. It's got a lot of green. It's got some teals in it too. A little bit of blues. Um, let's see. Oh, that one's more blue than green. Let's see what else I have. This one's not bad. that I think um, that will go with these since they're green. Yeah, this will be a, um, no, no, it's got no gold in it. I thought that had more gold in it, but it doesn't. No gold in that one either. This one's got some pattern in it, so we might be able to use that one with it. So it's kind of dark. Eh, not really feeling that one at the moment. What's this one? Mm, that one's kind of dark, too. Pretty, but not really what I'm going for. And since I know what I'm going for, that's not it. Okay. All right. So, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And majority vote wins. And we can combine them, too. So if you like two of them, you can, you can put two numbers up there. So start voting. Go. One and two, okay. One and two. <laughs> Come on, people. There's 17 people in this chat. <laughs> two, three, and five. One and three. Oh, but yeah, you already both. Hi, Joe. Three and five. Okay. 
Come on, anybody else? Don't be shy. Even if you've never said hi. <laughs> One and two. Hi, Karen. And that's a new name. How are you? Three, four, and five. Anybody else? Going once. Going twice. Kenny says all. <laughs> I don't know yet. We haven't gotten that far. So I think out of all the votes, I'm going to say that, uh, oh, Belinda comes in with, oh, you can't vote twice. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're going to go with one and three. Um, and they both have um, gold uh, and copper flakes in them. So, for two reasons, they match. They won't be competing for each other, and this one has a lot more white space. So, there's that. Ah! Stop it. Stop it. Pull out some tissue paper for my text. Since that one is see-through. I'm going to have to put, get, put folders together and sort my papers. And we're going to have to make some more papers. And I am going to have to put, I'm going to have to put some, some, um, some packs together. Some bits and bob packs. And maybe put those away. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Now, let's see what napkins we're going to choose. Let's put these over here, keeping in mind this is what we're using. Look, we already got some green. I don't know where that green came from, but sure. All right. Um, maybe. You know, some of her napkins have greens and stuff on them. We could just tear out this bit, so maybe that. Just ignore the pink, okay? Just go with the... That's going to be too crazy, I think. Yeah, and that's blue anyway. Some of these, these are Jane Davenport's, but they're, um, some of them got different colors in there. Now, this one might be a good one. Got some circleish things that are kind of greenish. We'll put those on at the end, maybe. They're like. Too green, not the right color, but the gold would look nice, huh? Gold would look nice. That's purple. What kind of eggs do we have on here? Maybe some neutrals with the green. Hmm. 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 Yeah, that's a 
possibility. Oh, this one. Oh, we've got to use this one. Uh, not really into the money. I might have to put these in my napkin packs. I don't really find I need a use for those. Oh, we could probably use some. Well, no, cause too many competing patterns. That'll get too busy. Drive my eyes crazy. Too crazy. Woo! Eyes will go blind. Oh, but these might be nice. Maybe, oh, these are much better than that one. All right. Night, Dottie. All right. So, um, this, this might be too crazy. It's the right color range, but mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. I definitely like the gold. And I definitely think, um, no, what did I do with the eggs? What did I do with the eggs? Hello? Did I pick up the eggs? Didn't I pull out the eggs? You all see me pull out the eggs, right? And folded it even. I put it back. Okay. Um, I put it back. Hmm. I definitely know I want to use that. And I want to use this. Some, oh, here it is. Okay. All right. Okay. Getting all these napkins out of my way. I'm thinking this is going to be too much. Okay. So then, um, if we just cut out maybe some of just just this, these two rows. right pink on there <laughs> no not really And then if we have these eggs, we won't need this one. Okay. So, I think we'll have enough with this and this and the initial papers. What do we think? Do we like it? A little bit of neutral, some little bit of green and blue. With a little bit of gold. Okay. Giggs is in charge. She said go. We're go. We are a going. We are a going. Right 
Oh, yes. Judy likes eggs. For those of you who don't know Judy very well, Judy is all about the eggs. Just so y'all know, Judy is all about the eggs. For sure. much. Well, that piece just gets to stay there now. So, let's just pull this off and just leave that there. That one. And then we'll just put this little old piece. going to get covered up anyway. So it probably doesn't really matter. I'm so going to have to scrub my table tomorrow. I've got clear gesso all over it. Okay. Like I said, gesso comes off of it. Glue does not. Okay. Um, that's that. Done. What, Susan? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, you guys, stop it. Okay. Um, then, according to Debbie, I think we should put... We should put the gold next because it's just background and it doesn't really matter and it's going to get covered up anyway. It's for background purposes and this is not going to be even, but it's going to put these in the old way. Well, let me get rid of the edges first. I don't know where we're going to put this yet. Okay. Yeah. Do we like that one there? I'm going to start working on the next one while you guys tell me yes or no. Maybe that one needs to go up there. Yeah, like that. Okay. Tell me if you like that. We have devolved. <laughs> Two yeses. Joycey, Jude, you guys are in charge of me now. You got to make sure I do this right. <gasps> I guess this one sort of wants to be there. Okay. okay. All right. That's where it's going.
Nha. That's where it's going because that's where the wrinkles are. Okay. And this one down here. Which it only needs a little bit, so it's fine. So good. Then I think this napkin, start bringing in a little bit of the green. You see, and we probably only need, we won't need a lot of this napkin. We'll get more green out of the, I think we're gonna just, just gonna tear this like this first of all this side over there and and So I'm going to put slightly off, slightly off that way, like three quarters the way. I'm going to, let me move up my thing so you guys can catch up. And then, I'm going to bring in this olive one. I like this olive one over here. this one and again I'm, I'm gonna just place them down and then you guys can tell me yes or no Do three of these just to start introducing the green. Thinking like that. Hi, Cam. Oh, let me move it up a little bit so you guys can see. You can either put that one up there. Well, yeah. I think, actually, I think it needs to be moved over here. I think like that. How are you, honey? How's the hubby? I don't know yet. We haven't gotten that far. Top one to the right. So over this one. What do we think? Uh oh. The granddaughter. 
daughter is in trouble because she's not paying attention to mommy and throwing a tantrum. Based on napkin choices, I, I don't know. I don't know yet. We're taking that one, one kind of napkin thing at a time because that's what Debbie did, so that's what we're going to do. We're not jumping ahead. Do we like this placement? Everybody agree? No, oh, no, we're ahead. Okay. Back where I had it. Like that. I'll wait. Wait for you guys to catch up. No, no more text. <laughs> Quiet, shoots. <laughs> you can call me, but no. <laughs> Do we like this? Do you like this, Jude? Do you like this placement of these three little thingamajiggers? Everybody likes it? I think I like this one, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it down. And you all can catch up to the rest of it. That's where it's going. Okay. 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 Now. Which paper next? Okay, let's go ahead and do these because there's only a couple little pieces. Um, yeah. Um, I think. I think I like that one there. And. little bit off of that side and then well, maybe that one in the middle maybe, maybe I could do it this one here maybe like that what do we think like that keep that for the top okay we can do that so let's go back back up here just a cotton pick in a minute. Well, don't forget, we got the eggs and we've got this. So we got to kind of approach those the same way. So these are, see, this is see-through. Um, 
and we don't have we can just use the I was thinking of maybe just using little bits of this um, like either strips of the the two side strips in some way um, maybe strips of these um, Kind of want to try to cover up as most more most of these um, these deer. I want the thing to show through, but I want the deer to go away. So I don't know about that one yet. Trying to look in the, the view. The, you too. Don't like that. I don't like that at all. I do like this one here for some reason. Okay, I'm just gonna lay that down. And then maybe one strip there. Oh, I like this strip better. That's okay. I'm not worried about that. Well, we could combine these papers and make five, actually. Or... Just a minute. Just a minute. Oh, he's sleeping? Oh, you want his night-night? Well, he's he's, no, he's not really. You want to see my grandma? No. I, I'm still streaming. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can. All right. Um, and we're going to do the same thing. We're only going to use little bits of this. So whatever we do, I really want to use these. So, like, we could use two of this paper and then these three papers. And we don't have to use a, um, if we did that, it would be nice to cut that. Yeah, I would cut between those two. Then I could put that one in the middle. Let me see how that looks. Let me put my glasses on. Where's my... Can't see in the viewfinder. Where the heck's my glasses? Oh, my God. It's so freaking hot in here. Oh, just the phone. Well, where the heck did I put them? Oh. Well, and that's why I was thinking about using those. This one might be too big. Maybe this, I like, the, uh, maybe this is too much. Or this is just blank white. I'm just gonna get off for a minute. Maybe we put it like this. No, I still think something needs to go there. 
all the line to be on the right this time. Or this nope, that the bigger part needs to go on the bottom, I think. All right, what do we think about that? Eep. Stuck over there. Stop it. I'm going to need a cold shower and then a hot shower. Still think those really, think those really want pieces should be used with the, what? Really want, what, Joycey? Oh, the really want pieces, because I really want them, should be used with bold napkin strips at last. Okay. Well, all right. Then we'll wait. Okay. So we can, but do we agree that, okay, because we still have the eggs. And we're not going to use a lot of this neither. So maybe, all right. That straight edge needs to go away too. So let's just put the lattice down. Let's just make some decisions. We're not making any decisions right now. And sometimes when you don't make any decisions and you think too much, it's too much. And that's no bueno. Okay, I'm just saying, just saying. And I know I want this stripe on here somewhere, so I'm just going to put it down. Okay, we're just, we're just going to go with it. The worst that can happen is, is I don't like this piece and this background, and I send it off to Joycey. I mean, or, you know, I, use, I figure out a way to use it somewhere else or somehow, some way, you know, something like that. Joycey gets all my rejects. She likes them. Don't you, Joycey? All right. So we made some decisions. All right, now, okay, now we need to use some eggs, and we got a lot of muted colors on there, but I'm, I'm thinking that, I don't want this napkin to stick to this, so I want to... kind of like this one, but I don't know if I want the eggs in whole. Like I want, I want bits of this napkin, I think. I don't think I want the eggs like necessarily to be, I don't care if they're ripped or torn or something. I just, I like the texture and the colors. Um, Let me let the dog back in. You better not jump up my papers or I'll have to, have to, I don't know, something. Get up there. Withhold your treats for a day or something. I like the spot. Uh, it's under the egg napkin. So 
Kind of the egg napkin. I like the spot of orange. Not eggs, just the uh, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Now I'm lost. That is not on there very well. So I'm just gonna put that Okay. So Do we just want to, do you guys agree with tearing or should I, do we want to do selection? Oh, this one. Oh, side convert. Okay. All right. Do we agree with the tearing and not really caring or do we want to do selection? Ribbit. She says they're ribbit. Okay. Let's see if I can. All right. So I'm just going to tear this. I don't want the bird's nest in there. No, not really what I'm looking for. Um. Well, get some with this writing on it, though. I like I like that. Let's just see what we get. Let's just tear up this bottom. Ah, well, that's okay. And let's see what we get with this. And then we'll go with we'll go with this. Gotta make sure we get some neutrals in there. Not that big one though. I don't want that. The writing is good. I like writing. I'm a big fan of writing. This one can go over there. So see what we've got here. And how they look. We may not even like the eggs. Who knows? Ah! I'm losing my eggs. Judy, I'm losing my eggs. Sissy Pooh. Send me some eggs. Stat. Okay. I don't know if I like that one there or not. Oh, I gotta put, turn my fan up. The napkins are so light that um, the fan blows them, blows them away. Okay. Don't know if I like that there or not either. I'm just putting, I'm just putting them down, getting a feel for what we got going on. I do somewhat like that one. Don't I lose? Maybe this one needs to go over here. I like that one. Oh, I like that. Okay. But it needs to go this way. Okay. I like that. And maybe this one. Oh, like that. And then. Or maybe mm -hmm. and I'm sticking to everything because I'm sweaty as I'll get out. Maybe oh maybe just like that. Okay, what do we think?
to the left of the lips. Okay, so I have to do tear off this edge a little bit. But then it kind of falls in line with that one. Um, unless we kind of like brought it up in the middle somewhere. Because if we bring it down to the left of the lattice, it like, it's too linear with this one. And I really like this one here. This one looks really good here. You could bring it maybe, like I said, somewhere. Still think it needs to go down here somewhere, but I'd like that more neutral. Unless we put it sideways and to the left, of, unless we put it like that. Okay, I'll wait for you guys to catch up to that. The white space I can get, uh, you know, I want some white space, but I can also gain white space because remember, I'm going to come in with gesso and um, drawing and stuff later. So I can always gain some, some white space back. Well, I'm definitely going to gain some white space back. Ah, stop it. On the right of the lattice, the original place. Now we like it in the original place. Okay. I could bring it down some. Maybe we maybe it just needs to hang off the page. Do we like it hanging off the page? I mean, that's gonna go away, obviously, but so more of the lattice shows. I'll let you guys talk it out while I, at least, at least we all agreed on these, these ones. So we'll just go, I'll just go ahead and put these down while you guys think about that. lattice cover more of the lattice or hello from Wisconsin hello Julie cover more of the lattice or leave more lattice Kind of like this green one too showing so we're just going to go with that okay because remember we are going for green here we are definitely going or green. Okay. Brush a little bit because 
I need to get some Murphy's Oil soap because my brushes are getting to the point where they need to be cleaned. Okay. I did. I did just for you, Gila. All right. Now we're down to our last two papers. Again, this is going to be used very sparingly because it's one of those crazy papers that uh, still think I might need a little something in the middle there, kind of like that. And that's an odd piece. Stop it sticking to me. You go over there. All right, so. Uh, so I'm put that one there now. Don't want to cover that up now. Um, no. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Hold on. They might size these down a tad. comes down. Oh, maybe this is where it needs to go. And this one up here. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to kind of try to find placement that I like. And then you guys can uh, oh, yes. You guys can then pipe in. Cover up too much of the gold, though. I can't do that. I like that. And I can always take a part of this and put it somewhere else, too. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Yep, doing backgrounds. Now again, I can take off a small bit from this piece and a small bit from this piece and we can incorporate, uh, or, you know, I can incorporate one or, you know, like maybe, like maybe I take off a bit, like let's say I take off a bit from here, like this little uh, piece and maybe I bring a, bit, a part of, you know, bring that down here, right, at the bottom, you know, and um so then we'll have one up here, right? Because this is where the page cuts off, right? And then we have that one piece, just a strip down here. And do we want it? Okay, so you guys like it. Now, do we want, I still, I think it needs a piece down here. What do we think? I think it needs a piece of this paper down here. Hi, Janice. And since I know that this piece is going to go there, I'm just going to cut it. Because we all like that, right? So, I'm going to, actually, no, I better rip it because that's the side it's going to, face up so I can't cut it okay so we take a small piece of that we put it down here on the bottom and then we put this piece back over here like that and I like this little extra piece down here on the bottom We like that because then we still have, still going to bring in teeny tiny, two 
tiny bits of this somewhere. Okay, but before we glue, we got to figure out where these are going to come in at. And I'm thinking I want to use some. Um, now, let's. What did she do with? What did she have us do with? Um, let me see how she. Okay, so we did one kind of in the middle and one at the top. Okay. So what we're going to do here is. I'm going to I'm going to rip these. In fact, you know what? I don't want the blue. But I do like this green. So I'm going to take that out. Take the blue out. Just totally take that out of there. Yeah. Might as well take this off because it's not going to match. It's got to be even. And then... I'm going to take this. Okay. Take off that because it's got a little bit of blue in there. We don't want that. We need to incorporate this somewhere. So we get a little bit of that green. Just a teeny tiny. So we get get this much, this much of this napkin, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit somewhere. Oh, maybe right here. Okay, that's one possibility. And then we take Oh, perfect. I'll just tear this off. We've got this other little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And, or we could even move it up here. We can move it. Oh, that might be good too. So we either can put it there or we can move it down. And then we'll have a teeny, tiny little bit. Like maybe, I'm thinking right there. It needs more lattice. I love my lattice too, Janet. Um, Gila. I can actually it needs more lattice. We can do that. Okay. So I will bring in another lattice piece. Alright. First, let's deal with this lattice piece because we got to have that. So, so, we have one on this side. We should balance it by putting one on the left side or up near the top maybe. And maybe this, this piece is too big. Or maybe it needs to be in the middle. Maybe this is too big. I could fold this. I'm just going to fold this. Okay, pretend... Well, maybe not. Maybe it's just right. Like that. And then we do like that. Okay. And then we still go. Now, you guys said uh, move this down. Move this down. This is going to be under this. Okay. So we move that down. And then... like this. Uh, which one upper right? Which one upper upper left? Not right. Gotta tell me which piece what. Needs a horizontal piece. Well, the, not these. I could do horizontal with the lattice. I could. That would be okay. Based on Debbie's style, we could do that um, somewhere. And we have this one over here on this side. So we have to balance this either somewhere in the middle or somewhere on the left. So let me take these off for a second. Okay. 
okay, because these are, these are top pieces, okay. This piece can either go like, you can go anywhere on the left pretty much, okay, go anywhere up and down here, um, or it can go um, vertical in the, in, in the center, Try it over the piece on the upper left. Remember, it's going to get um, going to kind of get covered. And remember, this piece came from this paper, so we need to. We probably either. Ooh, ooh, this is just nothing, so I'm going to take that off. We need to kind of separate it. I mean, although the the, the design is different, the, the colors and the... See, this pattern here is inside the lattice. And this actually really isn't lattice. It's really weird, but it's not a lattice. Okay. Place solid under it. Like that. Because this one is going horizontal, just so you know. This corner piece, although it's not in the middle of the page, it is going horizontal. I mean, I could do it like that. What do we think of? I kind of like. I'm kind of open to that. No, I'm gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna put those back. <laughs> You're back. You watch your sorrow already. We, we're we're attempting one uh, without you. To see how much we've learned we've gotten this far so far this is this is where we've gotten <laughs> now we're down to the last we're down to the last stretch Debbie <laughs> we put in this one lattice piece and this pe this long strip that I love came from that lattice piece right and we kind of got the last layer ready where we want it but we want to incorporate one more. There, we're calling this a lattice piece. It's not really a lattice design, but it kind of looks lattice-ish. Um, thank you. Good, good job, girls. She told us it's looking good. So we've learned so far. But now we're stuck on where to put this other lattice piece. We're 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 undecided um, because this. Before we pulled out another lattice piece, this is what I we kind of had decided based on our uh, our learning with you. This is kind of what we had going. No, they're all big scraps. Thank you very much. <laughs> they're all big pieces. The only thing is we're at the very end now.
This is all the rest of them are big. This is the only thing that's small. And the, the and you said to put when it came to the to the to the uh what do we call this? The the checkered pattern. Uh you said little bits. So I took little bits. And this was bigger. This was on this one. But we decided that we liked this one and we liked this one. This is the, the reason why these are kind of smaller is because I only had a little bit of this paper left. But we liked it because we were going for greens and neutrals. And so I said, well, this looks really good up here. But I thought this was kind of naked down here. And I thought doing one of your little tricks of a little tiny piece down here would look good. And that's the only reason why they're little. All the rest of them are larger. I started larger. Look, look. Uh, this is a big piece. This is a. It's all layered underneath. Again, this this took up this whole piece here. This took up a little this, and then this one's only small because it was it tore off the other one. So I stuck it down there. It was a, just a throw down piece, and then I took big uh, sea seashell pieces. And we put the, the kind of circles in three places. And then we took big pieces of this goldy napkin. And it's covering up this whole piece. This is all the way coming in through here. And then we got a big piece here. And then, and like I said, this is only because this is all I have left of this paper. And I really wanted to use it. So we kind of divvied it up a little bit. Otherwise, it would have been more. But I don't have any more. So we're limited to what we've got. And then you said on the, the checkered pattern to only use a little bit. So I was following what you said. But now we want to put this in there. So where do we put this? And I kind of like what we've got. We did good, I think. But we just want to put this in there. Oh, yeah, the long strip that started it all and came all the way down. But we got to fit this in here somewhere. Where upper right corner. Un, un, under on top of that. But we got one already here. That's why I was trying to avoid putting it up there. Because we already have a piece of it here. I mean, I have more of this paper, so if we want to try to continue this, like make this one huge long piece, we can do that. In white space edge. Oh, parallel to this? I thought we didn't like parallels, or maybe here. Do we like it there? Paper down, you can. Oh, well, I can do that.
this one's going to go right there. I want leftover of the pizza. <laughs> With the, two, the couple little bits on it. <laughs> okay, I thought there was more room. <laughs> Believe where it's at. Okay, the, right here. You like everything where it's at. I'm going to wait. Let's see. Did we pass the test? <laughs> Do we pass or fail? Yeah, we wanted to attempt one. I gave them the option. I would stay if they wanted to attempt one on our own. See how how well we we some we pass. I think it looks good. For our first time on our own without De Debbie. <laughs> yeah, because this is what I wanted to learn how to do, like, or be better at. Like, I mean, I can collage all day long, you know. I love to collage, but Debbie just has this. And I didn't know what her process was. Like, I see her do it all the time, but, like, knowing the process, knowing the, what is it, what is it, the, the recipe the recipe is the, the dealio, you know? You gotta know the recipe. How does it work? And then you tweak it and you make it your own. But I had to, I just, I just didn't know the recipe. And I'm gonna, Debbie and I are gonna stream together on Friday. And she's gonna, we're, she's gonna, have some more rest. She's going to have me do some more of this. Thank God. Because, yeah. What the flip? So Debbie streams at um, 4 Eastern on Friday. 4 Eastern, right, Debbie? You guys did it. You guys did an awesome job. I'll, I'll say thank you to you guys. I'll thank you for myself. Thank you to you guys. I was just the manipulator of the pieces. I mean, I did some decisions, but you guys made it happen. This one. This one's all about you guys. I mean, I... So you guys did amazing. And now you guys kind of have an idea. And like I said, come to the Debbie stream on Friday. And if you're not subscribed, you should be. And if you're not, shame on you. Unless you're new to my channel. If you're not new to my channel, you should already be subscribed to Debbie's channel. I'm just saying. Because I talk about Debbie all the time. You'll do yours in a comp journal. Okay. Night, Belinda. Yeah, she, well, yeah. I mean, she, um, 
she just and she does I sent her some some stuff that I love the colors and I love the designs I just don't know how to and then she takes them and she just does all kinds of wonderful things with them and yeah I sent her all my extra papers of course she's all folded up right now so I think that's why I'm gonna have to make a couple of uh, tidbit kits and either sell them or give them away or something so look let's look at what we've got today this one is drying but this is our green our green paper ah, no, don't stick there oh my god okay I'm definitely getting old save that because that's still good this is still good this is crap okay this is um let me cut these as i'm pulling them so you guys can see where they actually stop for the most part this is our blue paper and remember, the the, uh, the top part's going to come off, too. I'm going to call this our yellow. This is the very first one we did. I don't know if it's straight or not. It doesn't really matter. These are just master boards, backgrounds, it's fine. So there's our yellow. Okay, so I'm going to move the green on over here for a second. And then we have our, we'll call this coral and orange, because it's more coral and orange than it is anything else it has beige in there but or neutrals but um it's more it's more of a a, a pinky pinky cor coralish color um this is what we've done today Yeah, the backgrounds I'm gonna any backgrounds that I make, um, I am going to uh, make them available for my channel members um, in coming months, um, along with um, other of my papers. I'm gonna play with them in PSC. You may not get them in this uh, pure format. I may play with them and then make them available. But you will see uh, these in some fashion or form available to channel members um, in the future. So uh, stay tuned for that. Good night, Susan. So, yeah. Thank you guys well again this is all we we got to thank debbie because she's the one that made this possible um yeah i i was just the facilitator she was the teacher <laughs> um i just had the products and just did the work she um she actually made this happen for us so we are uh, night gigs Well, I'm not totally inept, and I have, you know, like I said, I made some decisions, but for the most part, you, you made it happen, Chicky. You, it's all about, it's all about you, and I can't thank you enough, and I can't wait till Friday, because I want to make at least four more. Um, got lots more colors and papers to go. Um, I don't know how many I want for, I'm going to need for this project, but at least four more for sure. Um, because the originals are going to be used for, 
uh, my project and um, yeah but uh, for sure but yeah we owe a big thank you and I owe Debbie a big hug <laughs> And uh, definitely come see us Friday. She will be doing a live stream, and I will be on her show. Uh, we will be working live together. So uh, uh, together on stream. Um, so, yeah. And uh, we'll be doing more Debbie-style background stuff. I don't know if it'll all be collage or it'll just it'll be... Because I'm open to, you know, stenciling, too, because she does, Debbie will do a little bit of collage, and then she'll do some stenciling, too. So, uh, and she and I have a lot of the same stencils, because we're, we're uh, stencil girl club members. So, I don't know what she's going to plan for me and what kind of mess we're going to make. But definitely on Friday, we'll have some fun and do some more, uh, more backgrounds. So, stay tuned, people. <laughs> That's uh, five to seven paper napkins in groups ahead of time. Okay, sure, absolutely, I'll do that. Night, everyone. Thank you. I love you all. Love you all for being here. All those up in the clouds and all those watching the recording, I do appreciate each and every one of you coming and supporting me. And especially tonight, thank all of you for making this one happen this is all about you guys look at all that yumminess all that beautiful green and teal and a little bit of gold in there mm, can't can't stand it thank you all so so much um thank you debbie again i appreciate it <laughs> love to everyone lots of hugs love you all and thank you to my uh club members for your monthly support one strong pattern first then add to it okay all right and we just want to work with napkins or we're uh, that's that I will do the homework. I will pull just napkins if that's what we're going to work with uh, only. Whatever you tell me. If, I mean, if you think of things, you know, whatever. And Giggs, I'll save these little. Well, she's gone already. She left me already. Napkin and or papers. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's my homework. And if you want to play along, pull some stuff yourselves, it doesn't matter. Um, but I've got some homework to do. <laughs> I will do that. I will have my stuff ready to go. I'll have my papers cut down to the uh, 8.5 by 11. Um, I wasn't sure how I was, you know. But, uh, yeah, definitely got to let these dry, especially this top one. It's really, really wet, so. All right, guys. Love you all. Have a great night. See you later. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. Be safe and stay artsy, my friends. Love you. Good. Okay. Yeah, and what, if you want to know, let me know what color combinations you're working with. Maybe I can kind of coordinate with that, too, so we can kind of stay on the same color pattern, color scheme. All right, guys, time for dinner in 